Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. Ooh, I I'm still feeling it, chat. <laughs> that, uh, that session in Wild Arms really wore me out <laughs> on many levels. But fortunately, when it comes to at least wearing things out, we have almost grinded out everything possible in Phoenix Wright. We are on the final trial, and... Honestly, there's still, like, a little tiny bit of a mystery left, but I think we're on the right track. So all we gotta do is just follow the clues, and that should be it for Phoenix Wright. So let's go ahead and put our nose to the grindstone, I believe is the phrase. To pause the music. So I believe last time we don't know the condition of Maya, so we're probably gonna learn about that this time around. No seventh moon in this game, thankfully. Thankfully not. Welcome in, Parameter. Ever... I'm immediately disappointed. Chat, let let <laughs> let let me. <laughs> Let me tell you, chat, there's a there's a certain location I never wanted to go back to. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm, I'm immediately... We've gotten one screen in. I'm already disappointed. We're off to a wonderful start. February 9th, 3.43 a.m., Hottie Clinic, Intensive Care Unit. Please do not have that other character here. Please, I beg of you. I'm so not in the mood today. I'm so not in the mood. Please don't have that one character here. I beg of you. You can have the same location, but please do not make this character appear again. I really don't want to voice him or look at him. Okay, that's fine. Keep it, keep it here. I don't want to see it go anywhere else. Phoenix says, I'm still up at this hour. Reading through the trial record of a certain case. It's the first case my mentor, Mia Fey, had ever handed... Oh, excuse me, had ever handled at a court of law. The horrifying truth that I refuse to accept is holding me hostage here within its pages. Dahlia Hawthorne. What have I read? Uh, I don't want to believe. She appears in the reflection on grief like probably. What is written here? This isn't the Dahlia I knew. Okay. So I guess this, this is just confirming that... I'm gonna... I, I don't know. Maybe it's just... Uh, I think I see what they're doing, but I don't fully agree. I'm not even sure how it works. Okay, so, so as a reminder from last time, I believe that we... Or at least I was theorizing that uh, Dahlia and her... Sister, whose name eludes me that we saw at the temple... We're swapping places with one another. But, like, how did nobody know? And then how wouldn't he know? And then she said she didn't go to university, but wouldn't she have had to have technically gone to university? I is it one of those, oh, she just went to, like, the university apartment, so it's not technically that she went to the university? Like, how does that work? <laughs> From the standpoint of the, the our, our little truth detector. I never really fully got that scene again. I feel like I, I feel like lying by omission would should have triggered it. Cause she was lying, that's why she didn't want to answer it. Whatever. After falling into Eagle River, I was somehow miraculously saved. But I ended up catching a cold that seemed to knock me around the world and back. I feel dizzy. My ears are ringing. My throat burns. My head is on fire. Did I get Phoenix isn't a woman, so we're probably safe. I just noticed that from chat. Yeah, that's uh, quite a statement. But I will recover. I have to recover by this afternoon. I have to meet with the most ill-tempered witness imaginable. But I know that he'll be able to help me with him. Somehow. February 9th, 2.43pm, Dusky Bridge. 
Right. Are you sure you're well enough to be doing this? You still look a little green in the face. Or maybe Viridian and artist speak. Oh no, there we go, the Viridian again. Actually, my fever has gone down quite a bit. How's your temperature now? Only 102.2 degrees. Nothing to worry about. Uh... Yeah, that's not low. Anyway, read today's trial record. I'm surprised we're moving at that kind of temperature. You weren't bad, Edgeworth. Pretty impressive despite the circumstances. Oh, look at that face we're getting from Edgeworth. We're getting all the judgmental looks from him today. We're not in the clear yet. The main point of contention tomorrow is going to be the murder weapon. Yeah. In the end, the Seven Branch Sword did not deliver the deadly blow. Which means there must be another sword hiding out there we don't know about. Disgust worthy or something like that. Another sword, huh? Don't you worry about a thing, pal. I'll take up the murder weapon myself, or I'll eat my coat. I'm waiting for a joke like, don't do that, you can't afford it, or something. I feel like they would do that. Thanks again, Edgeworth. Onto things from here. Huh. That is probably for the best. Uh-oh, there we go. Look at that face. Aw, uh, I, I don't I don't know if I like it to the side. I liked it when he glanced at us briefly. Actually, I was thinking about paying the old precinct a little visit. There's something I want to look into. And that is our client's background, naturally. You mean Iris, sir? Okay, thank you. Her name is Iris. I couldn't remember. I have the feeling that we've met before. Phoenix thought the thoughts. The only one is confirmation. One way or the other. And since I probably won't be getting that from you. I'm sorry, Edgeworth. I bid you adieu, right? Take care. I wonder why Dusky Bridge looks like in a typeface, but then like Heavenly Hall looks like somebody actually wrote it. Like, what, was it handwritten in the original game and then they just gave up in the HD version? Like, what happened there? That, that's gonna bother me every time I see it in the corner. Guess I should get moving, too! Why? Do you need to be somewhere? Yeah, I've gotta get to work on this bridge, pal! I'm rigging something up so we could get to the other side. Ah, oh, that's right! Maya's still stuck over at the Inner Temple. But don't you worry, pal. As soon as it's all set, you'll be the first to know. Thank you, Gumshoe. And then we cough at him. No problem, pal. Just try not to give me that cough of yours, okay? And then we kill everybody with our cold. The end. Alright, I'm off. Hang in there, Maya. We'll get you out, I promise. But in the meantime... I've got to continue collecting evidence. Uh... Alright, so I'm gonna skim through some of the stuff that I've been repeating. So, quote Phoenix, this area is prone to earthquakes. If my memory serves me correctly, Edgeworth isn't exactly a fan of earthquakes. I'm sure that will be a plot point very soon. That really is more of a dusty bridge than a dusky bridge. A kidnapping incident happened here 11 years ago. So maybe it's cursed too. Azagora Temple doesn't have a single private phone line. There aren't any houses in the area, so I guess Bikini is the only one who uses this. I really wish I had brought my cell phone with me. Oops. Looks like it's about 20 yards to that cliff over there. I can't see the inner temple from here. Really hope Maya's okay. A narrow path going off in a direction uh, different than that of the main hall. Like someone's taking the effort to write to Heavenly Hall on the signpost. Well, let's move on. February 9th, Hazakura Temple, main gate. Come on, please! It's for art's sake, I swear! There's only one guy I know who could be this persistent and high strong. I'm talking about the heroine here. Heroine in my book! It'll make you famous. Ah! Enough. 
A fool's fool. Fool's fools. It's a lot of fools. Who we'll foolishly accept the foolishness of a fool's fool. Wouldn't you agree? Phoenix Wright. Huh? Me? Wait a second. I know you. You're, um... Ow! Your reflexes and mine need to shape up. The brain's frying like a sunny side up. You want to grill me over a name? Branzi, you can't do that. Even as we speak, Nick's on the brink of death. <laughs> or so I'm told. Whip a dead horse. Isn't that one of your American sayings? No, it's not. And I'm not on the brink of anything. Come on, Nick. Tell her, would you? Tell her she needs the model for my new picture book. Branzi's whippity whip trip. Um... Ah! Before you ask me to model, learn to give at least semi-coherent testimony. And before that, you'll have to learn how to live a semi-coherent life, Larry. I don't care what anyone says. I saw... I'm telling the truth. I saw what I saw. Uh-oh, Blue Donna questioning everything. She flew, I'm telling you. Whoosh! Just like that dude with the red underwear. You mean Superman? Don't think I'm gonna forgive you guys when you come crawling back to apologize. Uh, off he goes. Hmm. It's amazing how little has changed with you in the past year. Phoenix Wright. Well, that's that's because we don't really want to pay for another sprite. Let's talk about Francisca von Karma to Francisca von Karma. Have you been in Germany all this time? That's right. Extending my perfect win, Rathgird. Naturally. Oh, joy. Sounds like she hasn't changed a bit. Has it really been a year since we first met? No, Phoenix. It was like a couple weeks. Well, several weeks ago. <laughs> In the prior game. I'm Francisca von Karma, the prodigy. I see. I gave up a promising career in Germany. Came to this country. For one sole reason. Revenge. Francisca was born and raised in Germany. I'm a prosecutor at the age of 13. I still don't know how that was possible, by the way. Um, I guess we're just going to gloss over that. Her father was the legendary prosecutor, Manfred von Karma. He had a perfect win record for 40 long years. But now, he's gone from this world. And he's gone from this world? Wait, what? Let's see what Chad is saying. Would it be Phoenix right if there wasn't con something constantly strange? That's true. But welcome again, Calvisham. Don't tell me you still hold a grudge against me. Because of what happened to your father. Did, did he die at the end? Why did they phrase it like that? Did he die at the end of the first game and I just don't remember that? Yeah, I was like, did something like, like, what did, th what did that mean? <laughs> that didn't sound like he went to prison the way it was phrased. Phoenix Wright, you will fall before me. This I promise. But it will be for my sake, not my father's. Are we clear? You're sent to the Shadow Realm, I think so. What well, videos have pulled up are, are too low quality, see if just keep it stuck to the original version. Oh, yeah. Yes, Crystal. Let's ask about today's trial. In truth, I was shocked. I came back to America with the intention of defeating you. Instead, it was my little brother who was leading the defense. Edgeworth. Come to think of it. Edgeworth was pulled into being a prosecutor by Manfred von Karma as well. Miles Edgeworth, tell me something very interesting, you know. You said this case has a special significance to you. Because it does. And that's precisely why I'm here. Your personal involvement will make crushing you into teensy weensy pieces all the better. It's probably the fever, but she's so openly hostile that it's almost kind of cute. Uh. Anyway, ow! No smirking. No whipping the sick. That foolish fool. Doing such a foolish favor for such a foolishly foolish fool. That is a series of words. Edgeworth. 
Make no mistake, Phoenix Wright. I came here for one thing and one thing only. To pulverize you. It's not like I thought you were here to bring me some cold killer X, you know. Let's ask what happened. I went over the whole case file and the flight over. Just going full on full here. Yeah, not cold killer X. You read the whole thing. Yes. Every last word of every last sentence of every last paragraph. All the ridiculous things you did made it a very interesting read, you know. Attempting to cross a burning bridge. Did you ever even consider the dangers? No. The only thought in my mind was, I have to get across. A fool who doesn't think... He oh, excuse me. A fool who doesn't think is more foolish than a fool who foolishly thinks. I'm she said he'd let me know once the bridge was repaired. Maya, she's gotta be okay. I just know it. Plus, I need to ask her about what really happened at the inner temple that night. February 9th, how's the Court Temple Main Hall? I'm assuming this is gonna be bikini. Going, hmm, uh, There's one long sigh. Um, Sister Bikini? My, my. I didn't know you were here. How you doing? <laughs> the jiggle physics on the laugh is something. Hmm, uh, Um, you don't have to pretend to be in a good mood for my sake. I... I suppose I've made a terrible mess of things, haven't I? Let Mystic Elise die. And there's Iris as well. Mystic Elise? How do I think about it? Hmm. There's an acolyte stuck at the inner temple. And that poor little girl has gone missing too. That little girl? <laughs> Did Phoenix forget about pearls? It's kind of funny. Oh man, I was briefly reminded of Suikoden in Tactics where we just forgot like one of the characters we were literally talking to in the monster Phil dungeon. Oh, that game was something else. You don't mean pearls, do you? Barometer says I want to say it wasn't tight, but I can't say for certain. Well, thank you for checking a Barometer. Yes, I'm afraid I do. She hasn't been seen since the morning after the incident. Pearls? She's missing. Why didn't anyone tell me about this? Let's ask about Iris. I must be getting old. I think I'm seriously lost faith in myself. Are you talking about your performance at the trial today? You believe me, don't you? I'm not a liar. I would never lie. I know what I saw. I saw Iris pull that sword from Mr. Elise's body that night. I'm certain of it. At least I was until this morning. see any Cyclops, so she must be telling the truth. Um, why are you so unsure of yourself all of a sudden? You know that artist who testified after me. It's Iris flying. Her white hood was fluttering. I like I might start flying myself. When I saw that man testify so fervently about something so impossible, I started to wonder if I had acted just like him when I was up on the witness stand. I wouldn't take that guy too seriously. He's an artist. It only draws this trouble. Nothing else. What if Kitty and Larry are telling the truth? It can only mean one thing. They both didn't see what they think they saw. Inner Temple. On the night of the incident, you met Iris at the Inner Temple. Is that correct? That's right. I'm sure it was Iris. But Iris claimed she was in her room in Hazakura Temple. I knew I shouldn't have come back here that night. Because you did. I stuck all by herself at the inner temple. Ugh, I'm so sorry. The draft in that place are nothing to shake a stick at. Winter is especially bad. I'll bet. The training hall looks like it's about to fall down any second. Eagle Mountain has always been prone to earthquakes, just so you know. We're bringing this up, because you know there's going to be an earthquake in, like, a day. <laughs> earthquakes? Yes, I wouldn't be surprised if the next big one levels the training hall. We've got to get Maya out of there. Fast. But still, there's really no need to worry. Area on the other side of Dusky Bridge is isolated like an island. It's like an island? How so? Well, the only thing on that side of the bridge is the inner temple. 
Who lives out there? It's surrounded on all sides by the river, the forest. I see. Though criminal would be trapped should they choose to flee in that direction. As long as the bridge is out of commission, he or she will have to stay there. And if it's just forest, why couldn't they just go through the forest? I would dot 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 that statement too. It means Maya could be stuck there out. Excuse me. That means Maya could be stuck out there with the murderer, with no way of escape either. Oh dear. Yes, I suppose it does. Ugh. Please, Gumshoe, get that bridge up faster. Let's get out of lease. I'm curious about a few things if you don't mind answering some questions. Oh? You need to know my measurements for your investigation or something. What? No. No, no. I want to know a little more about the victim. Miss Elise... Don't in. I'm afraid I don't know her waist size. Or her bust size, for that matter. Who wrote this? <laughs> Chat, like, hold on. Hold on, we're, we're like, we're like, come on. Come here, Phoenix Riders. Who wrote this? Stream Elements was also a star of Destiny. Hmm. Like, that's just... Ugh. No, no. Wondering why she came to stay in a place like this to begin with. I mean, she told us herself that she wasn't here for spiritual training. My, my, my. You make it sound like this place is some sort of dump, Mr. Wright. Mystic Elise was here to soak up the natural beauty of Eagle Mountain, if you must know. There. You did it again. Sister Bikini. Notice you always refer to Miss Donim as Mystic Elise. Oh? Yes. Now why is that? After all, she's not here as an acolyte. We address all our visitors as Mystic. Makes her experience feel more authentic. All right, where's the Cyclox? In any way, he's older than me. Must respect your elders, you know. How do you know that? You say for sure that she's older than you. Five, huh? Hmm. These Miss Elise Donim was no ordinary visitor after all. And there's pearls. She's with Miss Donim on the evening of the murder, and now she's vanished. All gotta be connected somehow. Let's ask about Pearl. Why did Pearls have to get mixed up with this mess? Please, Mr. Ryan, I know you're worried, but try to keep it together. Oh, man. Head's throbbing so bad, it's killing me. I think I accidentally skipped a black screen by just advancing text. Oops. Pearls. She was with Miss Stonim on the night of the murder, rem remember? Yes, but... I have a temple to run, you know. I was busy preparing for the training. I didn't see the little darling even once after we finished eating dinner. Murder. It didn't take place right in front of her innocent eyes, did it? According to the detective, she hasn't turned up at her home either. Come on, keep calm. There's one place left where Pearls could be. She just has to be there. Come on, Gumshoe. Tell me you'll be done with the repairs soon. Well, I guess we'll go check. Courtyard time. How's it going, Temple? Courtyard. This is where Sister Bikini witnessed the incident. I don't imagine she was lying on the stand, so... Maybe there are some clues that have yet to be found. The seven branch Sword. Sarah missed the Kami's right hand. It was proven in court today it wasn't the murder weapon. Given the design, it must have been used for some pretty gruesome things in the past. Miss Donim's staff. Definitely remember there being a crystal sphere attached to the staff. Miss Larry eventually found the sphere near the foot of the bridge, but what was it doing all the way out there? I'm just looking to see if there's new clues since he made a comment. There are a few of those stone lanterns scattered around in this courtyard. The city glare to compete with, I imagine they would seem a lot brighter. Guess Sister Bikini must light them now since Iris can't be here. Oops, step ladder. I think it's on the other side of that stone wall. Its elevation's almost 10 feet. How steep this hillside is. It's also the height the body fell from, according to the autopsy. Possible that Miss Donim was pushed from the top of the wall. The building up there is the main hall. It's where we were staying. It's kind of funny because it was built on a very steep slope. Oh, you're not supposed to disturb a crime scene? That's kind of amazing while the blood is still there. Yeah, it's just, it's just a nice welcoming thing for all the people visiting the temple. Like right here is where the murder happened. Enter from the main gate side. These rooms above me are the ground. 
to the ground floor. And Linda Stone Nim was staring in the corner room. I guess that's where she was pushed from that night. Quite a bit of snow up here in Eagle Mountain. On here, skis aren't just for fun. They're tools for getting around. With the sled. Now that's gotta be for Bikini's own personal entertainment. Alright, so I didn't find any new clues if there were any. I guess that convert I guess that statement was more of a red herring. I didn't think we would find anything new by returning back here. I imagine once we cross the bridge, we'll have new things to investigate. So for now, I'm not going to investigate these other rooms. Hey! What was that jarring, inconsiderately loud yell? So this is where you've been. Keep it nice and warm, I see. Detective, have you finished uh, the bridge? Yeah, I did. I told you I'd let you know. Well, well, well. And I'll come along with you, Anne. Sorry, ma'am. No authorized entry. Access is restricted to people involved in the case. What was that? I'm involved, aren't I? You couldn't get much more involved than me. Whoa, yeah, but that's not what I... Ah! It's been a while, Scruffy. Uh, it's... It's... Oh, and Karma! And then he dies. <laughs> Sister, please... Leave the investigation to me. <laughs> I like how we just basically witnessed a brutal whipping to the point where the guy passed out. And that's the face that we get in response from Bikini here. My, my, my. Well, you certainly seem to have everything under control. I'm on your side. I won't do anything you don't want me to. You work to pin the guild on Iris. What are you daydreaming about? Phoenix writes. Wow, that hurts, you know. Silence. I, Francisca von Karma, will personally guide you through your investigation. So you will follow me. She's not seriously going to follow me around, is she? Is she? I'm just curious if she was going to comment on anything. Damn, he worked fast. Right, chat? Inner Temple Gate. February 9th, Inner Temple Gate. This has certainly become a lot more hectic than before. They must have commenced with the investigation. Oh, Mr. Nick. That, that voice. Pearls! Mr. Nick! Mr. Nick! <laughs> so you were here. Ever since that night. I was so lonely, I thought I was gonna die. When I woke up in the morning and saw Dusky Bridge was gone. I realized I was all alone. She was all alone? It must have been very trying for you, little girl. Ah! You're... I'm Francisca von Karma. The Prodigy. There's no need to worry, now that I'm here. You're the prosecutor who was so mean to Mystic Maya last year. Well... I... I don't like you. You're nothing but a little girl with without your whip. Damn, Pearls just hard-burned her. She's taking psychic damage now, chat. Mystic Maya didn't do anything wrong, but you're so mean! I'll never forgive you! I... I... Looks like Pearl's words are getting under her skin. Yeah, why are you whipping me? I didn't even say anything! You didn't have to. That smile on your lips give you away. Anyway, Pearls? Weren't you with Maya? Ah! I'm sorry, it's- it's all my fault! Huh? What are you talking about, Pearls? I- I- Wah! Mystic Maya! Hey, wait, Pearls! She just ran off! Wow! Oh. That was cruel, Phoenix Wright. To make a little girl cry like that is inexcusable. What was that all about? Pearls acting like that. <laughs> he doesn't even comment about being whipped. That's- that's something. Giving me the creeps. 
I better take another look around since I finally got a chance. Especially since something about this place seems different from two days ago. Is it gonna be the in the incinerator? There's a weird smell coming from that incinerator. Where's all so open? Almost like it's begging me to look inside. Well, well, let's see what stunning clues concealed in here, shall we? Huh? It's empty. How naive of you, Phoenix Wright. But it's a bit strange, don't you think? Francisca von Karma? Seem to remember. There was snow on this incinerator the first time I saw it. Why'd he remember it? I didn't remember that. In other words, someone's been using it to burn something recently. Well, I would think the smell alone would cue you into that, but whatever. Listen, Phoenix, right. It's impertinent to call people by their full name. It's only copying you. Look at all the Buddha statues lined up on this path. Phoenix, right. Do you think this is how many siblings the head nun has? Why don't you ask her the next time you see her? Well, Pearl says he has a key for while she's trapped over here. That's a fair point. But it did smell like something weird was burning. So, like, would it be plasticky? Would it be related to the costumes maybe people were wearing? You know what? I think I will. She'll probably slap you for prying into her private affairs. Look at the bridge. It's a dusky bridge from here. Unusually long bridge, isn't it? I would say it's about 20 yards. Guess the gorge is too wide to cross with a piece of rope or wire, huh? Therefore, no one has crossed the gorge in either direction since the night of the murder. A simple, yet sound deduction. Wouldn't you say, Phoenix Wright? Phoenix Wright! What? Would you stop calling me by my full name like that? Was this once a prosperous port? Port? Yes, that metal hook is a mooring post for boats, you know. Oh, that. It's an anchor from one of the wires that's supposed to, that was used to hold up the bridge. The wire that was tied to this one probably snapped when the bridge burned down. I mean, there's no way there was ever a port all the way up here. Don't get smart with me, Phoenix Wright. I didn't say anything. So yeah, I'm thinking something snapped, and the flying person was like the outfit. I'm thinking that's what Larry saw. Uh, I'm not getting any other things to investigate, so we'll move on. Wow, literally nothing, chat. There we go. This must be the door that leads to the inner temple. Where Maya Fey was training on the night of the murder. Yes, there's a solitary room there called the training hall. No, you, you could do with some training yourself, Phoenix Wright. Yow! You're completely out of shape. Ugh. I don't know how much more of this woman I can take. Little gate that leads into the garden. There's no entry on the sign, though. Come now, Phoenix Wright. What are you doing? Let's go in. Tap open anyway. What harm could come of it? It says no entry. Don't you Americans enjoy doing whatever you like, and then simply say whatever? That's got nothing to do with anything. And who told you that? Sign says enter temple. Don't know how you're reading it, but it's incomprehensible to me. You know what, Chad? I think this is another mark in the column of Phoenix Wright can't actually read and he just believes whatever is there. <laughs> like, like everybody else can read it. It just looks like gibberish to them, but he, he's illiterate, so he thinks it means something but doesn't know any better. Actually, I can't read it either. Oh, there we go. See? See, chat? What a liar. Feigning comprehension isn't a very good habit to have. Phoenix, right? I feel like that's even another check. Yeah, Phoenix blind, indeed. He looks really happy to have finally caught me on something. Move to the training hall. With the convenient Magatama lock there. February 9th, Inner Temple, training hall. Ooh, they spilled something over the image of Elise. Interesting. Is that... What kind of weird brown sludge is that? That's supposed to be coffee or something else? Or tea, maybe? I don't know. It looks very weird either way. Phoenix dot dot dots. What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? 
Maya, you're supposed to be in here training. Yet it appears she's nowhere to be seen. What's that? That strange lock. That thing I've been seeing every time I use the Magatama. It wasn't there two days ago. The whole room is really giving some strange vibes. I'm immediately gonna look at this. What do you think this yellowish poster is, Phoenix Wright? It's a scroll, not a poster. Picture a woman who's actually... A woman? Don't see any woman here. There's a different atmosphere in this room since the last time I was here. No. Not a different atmosphere. It's a different smell. It's gravy. Oh, it's gravy? Yeah, I was thinking it looked kind of thick. That's why I was like, it had the consistency of like tea or coffee in color, but... It is more solid. Okay. What's the matter? The scroll. It's been completely covered in gravy. Ah, oh, yes. There's a very appetizing smell in the air. But gravy is a type of sauce. When you run out of paint, you Americans use gravy as a substitute, I see. No, no one does that. For starters, it stinks. It must be the gravy that we had on with the roast on the night of the incident. And why would anyone do this? Why this scroll? Well, I mean, Dahlia Hawthorne hates it. Hanging scroll updated, touch to see before and after view and the check screen. Oh, that's kind of interesting. There we go, Chad. Those wafer-thin mattresses. I'm sorry, Phoenix Wright. Wafer-thin? Yeah, you know. Thin like a wafer. In other words, uncomfortable. That's how we describe things like these mattresses. I would believe it's curry. I, I would fully agree with that. A verimeter. Zero doubts. I guess you must say wafer thick or something back in Germany. Not about these mattresses, certainly not. It's an antique dresser. Don't you dare open it, Phoenix Wright. Now we know how Maya feels when I tell her not to touch things. What a pity. We have nothing but old clothes for the acolytes. We weren't opening it. I'm from the prosecutor's office. I could do anything. Yeah, you could do anything. Except stand up to a nine-year-old girl. Oof. Yeah, wow, that was brutal. <laughs> that was like a... Uah, uah, uah. Hmm, this door. When I was here two days ago, that weird lock wasn't on it. Those chains. It's almost as if they're guarding something inside that cavern. Never seen a lock quite like this before. I have. I've seen locks and chains just like this before. Look just like the ones that guard a person's secrets during a psych lock. I wonder if this lock is guarding something, too. Dark secrets in a dark cavern. What took you so long? I thought even- Oh. Not who I thought was talking. I thought even you managed to get here faster than this, Mr. Trite. Hmm. Uh-oh, chat. <laughs> Ultra suspicious. Why is he here? Is he actually the killer? Prosecutor Godot, I didn't know you were here. Prosecutor? How come you didn't show up at the trial today? Huh. I can ask you the same exact question. Huh? But I was... I had a cold, so... I had something slightly more important than a common cold to deal with. The importance of which is something you have no hope of ever understanding. Enough! I believe I have the measure of you. You are the very worst kind of prosecutor. What could be more important than a trial? Who's the wild mare, Trite? This is Miss Von Karma. She's the acting prosecutor in your absence today. Ah, huh. well, I guess I owe you one then. You could go now, princess. It's time for the big boys to take the reins. Oof. Oof. Just who do you think you are? This case is my... Hey, Philly. Know your role and shut your mouth. Can't stand women like you. Wow, that's not the... Mm, that's not the personality I was expecting from Godot there. That's kind of rough. I'm only going to say this once, Lady Von Whippingburg. Go home. Damn. Phoenix Wright! 
<laughs> Why are you hitting- What are you hitting me for? Oh, you deserve more craps- Cracks of the whip than that, right? What? You still don't get it, do you? You don't realize that you've set something in motion you'll never be able to undo. Something different about Godot today. <laughs> Is it the random sexism? I'm gonna go with it's the random sexism. I'm getting such a strong sense of something from behind that mask of his. I mean, I I'm still going with sexism, but he still seems just as hostile as before. Is it anger or is it sorrow? I was not picking up sorrow at all from what just happened there. But anyway, sure. Sure, game, if you want to allege that sorrow. Allegedly. Why didn't you show? You had some important business, and that's why you weren't in court, huh? So what was it? I've told you once before. Perhaps you don't remember. I've returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. You see, Trite, I've experienced something most have not. Death. You died? Of course. Being extradited from hell is a tedious affair. The meticulous regeneration and adjustment of all your internal organs is, well, let's just say modern medicine allows us to all live to a ripe old age. I think he's getting a little obsessed with this hell metaphor. Even someone like me. So, you mean, the mask you wear is... This ugly device? I promise it's not a fashion statement, my unenlightened friend. Without this, I can't see your frequently dumbfounded face. I... I didn't know. I like how they're gonna pretend this is a medical device. Definitely not- just not something completely outrageous. My sight is pretty messed up. Even with these huge goggles on my head, I still can't see everything. Which I'm sure will be a plot point that he can't see blood. Still, keep this worn out piece of junk of a body going with regular servicing. I'm sorry, but you say you experienced death. How is that possible? What happened? Why don't you ask him? Huh? Me? Yeah, Trite. You. You should know all about it. You know when my life ended, and who ended it for me. Well, Phoenix Wright, do you? I, I don't know what he's talking about. Although, to be honest, I feel a little tuck at the corner of my memory. I think I do know about how Godot was killed. It will all become clear in due time. Isn't that right, Trite? Can't undo. Really, you said I've done something I can never undo. What did you mean by that exactly? The inner temple here on this side of Dusky Bridge is an isolated island. That's what Sister Bikini said too. And I wonder, Trite, you know what the police are doing here today? Well, what do you mean? They're searching. Searching for any trace of an acolyte who went missing. Welcome, Kirk. Been missing? As leader of the search party, I could tell you this with absolute certainty. Maya Faye is not on this side of Dusky Bridge. I mean, wouldn't she just be locked in the cavern? Huh? But that's impossible. She came here that night and I won't say it again. I just say her being here are new. Excluding, of course, one very unique place. What's Godot being here? Uh, being very suspicious and probably the murderer. <laughs> but welcome, Kurt. Hope you're, uh, doing well today. One. Where is that? What do you mean, where is that? We're, we're standing in front of it. What are you, dumb? The sacred cavern. The entrance of which we're standing at right now. How did he not... What? There wasn't, I don't even think that was a riddle. It's like, imagine, chat, you're, like, in a room, right? And, and there's a door that takes up the entire span of the opposite wall. And you're like, where's Maya? She could be anywhere. Oh, hey, locked door. I guess that's not important. Where could Maya be? <laughs> like, geez, chat. Are we sure we aren't the ones that have a vision problem? 
Ludon is just confused. That makes sense. This is the only place that the search party is yet to explore. They haven't searched that cavern yet, huh? Be aware, though, that the temperature inside frequently falls below freezing. Even if she were in there, chances her being found alive are slim at best. No! Which means, Trite, that you sent Maya Faye to her death. I have a vision problem when we have a brain problem. Oh, that's true. You fool. That's the situation. Why aren't you in there right now with the search party? You must have blinders on, my equestrian angel. Don't you see the big lock and chains? It's a trick lock. Making preparations to open it as we speak. Well, Trite, once again, woman dies because of you. Once again? What are you talking about? Don't tell me you've forgotten. It's only two years ago, after all. When the last unfortunate woman died because of you. Because of me? Do you know who that was? It was Maya Faye's sister. That's right, Mia Faye. Mia? You killed her. No, that's not how it was. Mia Faye. It was two years ago. Mia Faye was pursuing someone. A man. She bit off more than she could chew. He made a very dangerous enemy. Yeah, that's one case I'll never forget. But I got that guy, personally. Sure. This face murder was caught. That won't bring her back. Well, no, but... You were with her at the time. You and no one else. It was your responsibility. You should have protected her. I... You say Mia Faye was your teacher. Well, then. I'd say you've learned nothing, trite. You robbed her of her life, and now... You've let her sister suffer the same fate. I... I haven't sentenced Maya to death. No! Trick lock. What is that peculiar looking lock? Why don't we just break it open? It'd be a simple matter of... I'm afraid we can't do that. This area has always been prone to earthquakes. Repeated tremors have weakened the foundations of the training hall. Any excessive force used to break the lock open would... Chat saying, we can't learn anything. She won't let us every time we try and handle a case on our own. Her curse comes and does it for us. That's true. Well, let's just say the inner temple in the sacred cavern would be a thing of the past. Very well. Then I... Then dare I suggest the obvious solution of opening it with the key. Huh. Sure. Just tell me where the keyhole is on the trick lock. There's no keyhole? That's right. Interesting puzzle, huh? The person who set this lock is the only one who can open it. And who is it? Simple. The accused. What? Iris? When an acolyte undergoes training inside the sacred cavern, the attending sister is responsible for locking the entrance. Obviously, the night of the murder was no exception. Maya Faye was to train in there. Sister Bikini did mention it a number of times, now that I think about it. She said that Iris was left in charge of supervising in the early stages of the training. Though Iris, the, con the accused, is the only one who can open this lock. Arrange for her to be brought here now. Iris the only person who could open this lock? If she gets here soon. Hang on in there, Maya. We'll get you out. So, I'll be getting back to work. Wait, Godot! How sure about Maya are you? There's no doubt in my mind. She's in the sacred cavern somewhere. The only place she could be. You better start praying. You better pray that friend of yours brings the accused back here soon. Edgeworth? Listen up, trite. There's only one thing I want to say to you before I go. I'll never accept you. Never. You should choose your friends more carefully, Phoenix Wright. That's what everyone says. It's like I don't have much of a choice. Guess I'll just have to do what I can for now. Let's try leaving. Unknown person dot dot dots.
Well, by I don't know, should I or shouldn't I? Who's saying this? Sounds like someone's talking to himself, but where's that coming from? Oh. Yeah, I guess I better wash that off. That's what I'll do. No, but I can't do that. I'm a detective. Ugh, my brain. This is driving me nuts. Ah! Is something troubling you, Scruffy? Please don't whip me all of a sudden like that, sir. It was merely a simple greeting. Friendly tap on the shoulder. With my whip. So what's up, Gumshoe? Something on your mind? How do you know, pal? Perhaps you were trying to decide if you wanted to wash that off or not? How did you know, sir? Oh yeah, I nearly forgot. Can't go through that little gate there, okay? Um, you mean the one that says no entry on it? I, um, I already snuck in there. Are you trying to be clever or something? So what's behind there, Scruffy? Huh? A kind of garden-like garden. Wow, that's a description. Garden? Yeah, anyway, it's under investigation right now, so keep out. I'm not telling you, I'm asking you, pal. You got me? You normally the other way around. Well, see you later. One of these days, Von Karma's gonna have, uh... She's gonna catch up to her namesake after all the whipping? Yeah, probably. I mean, she does lose basically every case. The garden is made of garden, says Chris, pretty much. So, shall we adjourn to this garden, Phoenix Wright? Of course. What else would we do? I only want to know what Gumshoe was thinking of washing off. Go to the garden. Hmm. So, okay. So, we can see the words Maya written upside down in blood. I don't know if that was supposed to be as unsubtle as that is. <laughs> I'm reminded of Danganronpa, the first case, at some extent. So, if Godot was the killer, he wouldn't know to wipe off the blood because he can't see it. So this is not looking good for Godot, chat. February 9th, Inner Temple Garden. There's a strange feeling in the air. I wonder what it is. Strange feeling? What about that? That's strange writing on the stone lantern. Ah! What are you doing here, sir? I thought I said you can't come in here. Don't you know, Scruffy? Avon Karma will always show up whenever there's a clue. Or wherever, excuse me. And there are plenty of clues to be found here. But... Let's examine things first. Little lantern, little statue. It is certainly a quaint little garden. Oh! Yeah, there's a charm there. What is this huge bowl here for? Oh, I know this one. It's, um, it's a water bowl, isn't it? Everything else is completely frozen over. But the ice in this bowl has been broken. That's true. If this has any impact on the case. Um, well, I, uh... I doused my face earlier with water in this. It's getting kind of sleepy. Ah! Next time you're sleepy, you need only come to me, got it? There are a couple of torches here. Guess you need all the light you can get up here in the mountains. Yeah, I was looking at those things, pal. Looks like they've been lit pretty recently. Recently? How recent are we talking about? As recent as the night of the murder. I was training here on the night of the murder. Not unreasonable to think these things were lit up at the time, I guess. I'm purposely avoiding looking at the giant statue. Alright, we don't have much else to look at. Well, this is odd. There's no stone on the ground here. It's almost perfect. It's almost a perfect rectangle. It couldn't have happened naturally. Yes. Here's as though someone has carefully cleared the way the snow. No doubt it was you, wasn't it, Scruffy? Huh? No, it wasn't me, sir. It was already like that when my men and I got here to start the investigation. It wasn't the police, then who did it? Oh yeah, there's something I need to tell you, just between the three of us, okay? What is it? It's top secret. You can't tell anyone, got it? Understood. Well, when I was a kid, 
I got knocked out of the local wrestling contest, you see. I was so disappointed. I just picked up my mouth guard and cried all the way home. What? What does this have to do with anything? Man, I got in so much trouble when I left it on the couch. Long Karma, please whip him. Is that it? That's it! Ah! Whoever cleared the snow must have had a reason. I... Was it... Wasn't that just, like, really random chat? Like, was that supposed to be funny? I don't... I, I don't find random very funny. Like, what was the lead-in that the cleared snow reminded him of the couch? Like, what, what was the... What was the leap of logic to get to that joke, allegedly? Although I can't even begin to imagine what that reason could be. I know, Blue Donna, I'm confused. Was something lost in translation there? What the heck is that? It's Maya upside down. Uh oh, you spotted it, huh, pal? I mean, it's like it's, it's literally on a bloody post. How would we not see this? Are you kidding me? It couldn't be more obvious. This is Phoenix, right? We don't deal in logic here. That's true. It says Maya. Yeah, and before you ask, it's written in blood. You will answer all your all of our questions now, Scruffy, without exception. I yes, sir. Wow, they didn't produce a clue for us to talk about. Oh, it opened up a conversation though. Need investigation. How's the Inner Temple investigation going? We have the best forensic team in the world working the place. Forensic team. And what was the outcome of this scientific study? Nothing. Scientifically speaking, the place is as clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle, bloody writing on a post. Two of these things don't belong together. <laughs> just, just, you know, like, even just some of those, like, no, uh, no, no, no. Also the sweeped up area. Are we not going to acknowledge the weird little charm that's in the snow over there? I thought that was a clue. That's simply not good enough, Scruffy. You think I'll let you get away with that? Uh-oh. Well, there were a couple things that bothered me when I first got here, sir. That stone lantern and the surrounding area that's not covered in snow... Oh, sorry, wrong person talking. That stone lantern and the surrounding area that's not covered in snow, correct? You look kind of fishy to me. You know, scientifically speaking. Phoenix can't read right side up. You can't expect him to read upside down. That's true. You know what, chat? That's another point in the Phoenix can't read column. So I got the lab boys to look them over. The results were... It's actually kind of hard to say. Just a better look into them myself. Let's ask about Maya. Um, about Maya. Oh, um... Did Mr. Godot tell you yet? Yes, we heard. He's got a search party out looking for her. There's nowhere else she could have disappeared to on this side of Dusky Bridge. All we could do is wait for Mr. Edgeworth to get here, pal. Edgeworth? He's escorting Iris, the defendant, over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll have to wait, since she's the only one who can open the door to the sacred cavern. Oh, I think Mr. Edgeworth wants to talk to you about something too, pal. Huh? Wonder what it is. Just don't be expecting any good news when you talk to him. I spoke to him. Mr. Edgeworth sounded so down. It felt like I was drowning. Sounds... Pleasant. Bloody writing. Maya, these letters are written in blood? Yeah. What's worse is the victim's blood. Huh? This is Miss Donim's blood? We haven't done a detailed analysis, but... It's looking that way, pal. Hmm. Most interesting. Phoenix Wright. I presume you know, don't you? Why Maya's name is written upside down. You know what? That was really bothering me, too. But I just came up with the answer. Result of my own special gumshoe investigation. You can't say that without doing an analysis. Yeah, I don't know how they would have gotten the results this early. Really? Do tell. I mean, it was literally like 10 minutes ago. Well, on the night of the murder, that stone lantern was upside down.
What? You mean it was upside down? Like in the same position, but the but the head was there, or it was toppled over? It was it leaning against something at the time? Ahem. Anyway, there's really only one logical explanation to this mystery. I don't, I don't want to think about what Gumshu was thinking about. Let's not think about it anymore. Miss Elisto Nim wrote these letters herself, in her own blood. You must be joking. That's impossible. From the writing in the victim's blood and the other clues left behind, it seems pretty likely that this garden was the scene of Miss Elisto Nim's murder. At least that's what our current theory on how the events took place, pal. What? True crime scene. Estonim was killed here? However you want to look at it, that's what people are saying now. Then, it's just a beginning saw in the courtyard of the main temple was. Well, what was it? That wasn't the scene of the crime. What did she see? What do you what do you think, Miss Von Karma? Surely a special gumshoe investigation would reveal the answer. No? Welcome, Murphy. Hope you're doing well. But wait a sec. Bloody writing on all the other clues here. Someone could have easily set that up all after the murder, right? Um, sorry, but that's not an option, pal. Why not? How quickly you forget Phoenix Wright. Ever since the incident occurred, this place has been completely inaccessible. Because Dusky Bridge was completely burned out. He says, I'm tired, but also awake. Paradox, a night shift worker. Oof. Sorry to hear Murphy. I was overseeing repairs to the bridge the whole time. No one came over here before me and my men. It means no one could have planted all this stuff here, pal. Ugh. I, I can't think of a counter-argument to that. I knew it. I should have washed the blood off the lantern as soon as I got here. Whoa, you're just going to mess with the crime scene straight up? You're not even going to hesitate? Wow, Chad, that's messed up. This really was the scene of the crime. Then I need to figure out exactly what it was that Bikini actually saw. Well, okay. So nothing more to do here. I guess we go back to the other place. What? What indeed. Wait, where is she? Hmm. Did I not find something I should have looked at? Uh, so she's not here, so I clearly missed something. Let's go back to the bridge. I mean, was that red charm something I could look at, but it just didn't give me the option? Oh, come on. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here, chat. I def I definitely highlighted this earlier. I must have had it like this. I must have had it like literally like that. That sucks. <laughs> that was the first thing I noticed. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, chat. At least we're not stuck for very long. There's a charm or something poking out from the snow. Looks pretty old. A leather cord tied to it, too. Apparently, it belonged to the victim. Yeah, because I thought it was weird he was talking about the water bowl. Because remember, chat? Like, I was not looking at that even remotely close. The Miss Elise Donim. Yeah, there's a broken leather cord around the lady's neck. The ends of the cords found on both the victim and this charm match exactly. Sounds to me like... This little trinket is going to be my ticket to getting some very big answers. Grandmaster's talisman added to the court record. Run by Elise Donim, found in the Garden of the Inner Temple. So the only thing I'm not entirely sure is what the witnesses saw. But I think I know who did it. We still don't have the murder weapon. We have most of the motive down. And we have the whole weird ghost subplot figured out for the most part. So at this point, we're, we're just looking for like one more piece of evidence to say why she saw the sword being pulled out. Because unless Iris did leave her room at some point, because I don't see how the other person would then pull it. I, I don't know. 
The logistics there are a little confusing to me. But anyway, let's try going across the bridge again. February 9th, Hazakura Temple, main gate. It seems you have a visitor. Mr. Wright. Iris, I'm really glad to see you. Doe managed to mobilize the police by claiming a state of emergency. Not him again. Never mind him. You gotta hurry and unlock the sacred cavern. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. It's my fault someone so important to you is locked in there. Mr. Edgeworth, we finish our conversation later. All right. Let's hurry to the inner temple then. I'll see you later, right? Hold it! Hold it! Wait, Edgeworth. I'm coming with you guys. Sorry, right. Can't allow you to come with us. What? Hate to be the one to break it to you, but... YFA is in a rather... Delicate position. What do you mean by a delicate position? This isn't a simply... Oh, this isn't simply a rescue operation, right? It's also an investigation. That being the case, can allow members of the public to interfere. Come on, Edgeworth. Anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Please understand, Bright. But it's Maya! Mr. Wright, all that matters is that Mystic Maya is rescued, correct? I Listen to the voice of reason for a change, Phoenix Wright. From now on, consider anything beyond Dusky Bridge to be off limits. We'll be going now. Excuse us. Ah! This is no time to be standing around, Phoenix Wright. Aren't there other things that demand your attention? She's right. Thanks for reminding me. Well, we only have one destination now, so I'm assuming we're almost at the end of the investigation. February 9th, Hazakura Temple, Main Hall. Mr. Bikini looks like she's shrunk some since I last saw her. Don't be so rude, the Phoenix Wright. What's wrong, Sister the Bikini? My, my, hello, you two. How are you doing? <laughs> the sound of that sigh. She's still pretty down. Iris was just here, you know. She was accompanied by that handsome, crimson clad prince. Is she talking about Edgeworth? Just a courtesy call. I'm not allowed to talk with her at all. Oh dear. All my fault that this happened. Poor Iris. She was worried about my back, would you believe? What have I done to her? Only what you had to do, sister. You bravely and truthfully testified about what you saw. There's no shame in that. And we'll see to it that your testimony wasn't made in vain. Well, I don't want to hear anyone else saying that. Mr. Blue Suits doesn't seem to share your opinion, I see. Huh? Me? Ah! Did you get, we get glared at? Uh, oh, yeah. You did great, Sister Bikini. Absolutely spectacular. You two are the only ones who said that to me. I check the feeling that I just became a shill to a shrew. Oof. You have a problem, Phoenix Wright. Sure. It's brave to testify so truthfully like that. But I know she's still hiding something. I guess it's time to break those psych blocks of hers. Take that. Take that, chat. Oh, I forgot to show the badge. Oops. Oh well. We'll get another chance on somebody else later. At least don't him. Sister Bikini, the truth is becoming increasingly clear to me. I'm convinced that Miss Elise Don't him had a special significance to the temple. So why she had a special significance? I believe it has to do with her true identity. What on earth are you talking about? She... she was... Uh, Mystic Elise was an author. She's an author of picture books. To be honest, I had my suspicions almost immediately after I met her. Suspicions? Yes. I didn't have any evidence to support my theory, though. But now I do. This piece of evidence proves Miss Donim's true identity. Well, we're gonna just show the... Master Talisman. Take that! Take that! Miss Donim had this charm with her at all times. Ah, where did you? This isn't some cheap good luck charm either. So then, what do you think it is, Mr. Wright? What could a talisman like that possibly mean? It's a talisman, is it? Interesting. 
Oops. This thing speaks volumes about who Mr. Nim really was. This talisman and one other item unequivocally prove Mr. Nim's true identity. We're gonna show the hanging scroll. The painting is obscured by this gravy and definitely not curry stain at the moment. But this scroll shows the master of the crane channeling technique. The crest at the top is a sign of that honorable title. The very same crest that adorns the talisman the victim carried with her. Ah! This crest is reserved for the master of Karain. Who went off to you that nonsense? I've got no idea what you're talking about. The new master, YFA, told me. W what? You mean that accolade? Is Misty Faye's daughter? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. In fact, their oldest daughter passed away. Maya is Misty Faye's sole successor. <laughs> Mystic Misty. Well, that was easy. Unlock successful. That's about Elise. Mystic Elise graced us with her presence about a week ago. She showed me the talisman with that mark on it. Well, I nearly fainted. No one else had seen her since she disappeared. 17 years ago, after all. What is the significance of this talisman, sister? Something about this music gave me some vibes of Shadow Hearts for a moment. I was thinking back to see Mama chat when I heard this. The Karain Talisman. It's a symbol of the Master of Karain. The Baron must carry it with them always until their death. <laughs> Here we're gonna hear... Yeah, we're gonna hear the squawk! <laughs> Just uh, the, the schloops and the squeeze. It's, it's all over. Until their death. So at least Donim was really Maya's mother, huh? She was Misty Faye, the master of the crane channeling technique. She'll now tell us the story exactly. But remember, she doesn't have much time to tell it, but dot dot dot. The truth comes out at last. Looks like we're making some headway here. Tell me, sister. There's 17 years. Why did she choose to show herself now? Because something happened that called her out of hiding. What happened? Well. Uh-oh, chat. Earthquake. What's happening? It can't be. Earthquake! Ah! Oh my goodness, the inner temple! It's kind of tremor, my... I love how the text is static. I love that, just so you can read it despite the vibrations. To make it quick, commences five minutes just looping, exactly. The inner temple. The sacred cavern, the training hall. It might very well cave in. What? Maya! It... It seems to have passed. Well, we can't just stand here and do nothing. Let's go. What? Where? The inner temple, of course. Where else? Sister Bikini, we'll finish this later, all right? Of course. You run along now. People may have been hurt. I must get some first aid ready. Come on, then, Phoenix Wright. They won't bar you from entering as long as I'm with you. But thank you. Right at the moment, I had the worst feeling in my gut. We just had an earthquake. I wonder if he's alright. You look worried. What are you thinking about Miles Edgeworth? Come on, let's go. I mean, it is Phoenix Wright. They would make it this convoluted. Okay. So... I thought they were going to do the earthquake at some point. Is it going to be that... Alright, let me think about it. So... I'm trying to work my way backwards through the events. So... The only question I have is who put the lock 
on the place in the first place. So I think the overall chain of events, if I'm getting it straight, is that Dahlia Hawthorne is dead. We haven't been told this, I don't think, directly, but it would make sense that the vengeful spirit would try to possess somebody. And that's what caused an initial struggle. But she knew that she was going to die. And she had sent her sister instructions in order to purposefully pull in Phoenix Wright slash Maya at some point. So when we think about who put the lock on, it could technically be... If they thought they saw her at the temple already, that would mean that it would be Elise that was channeling the dead spirit of Dahlia to look like the other person, and therefore that Dahlia was getting revenge by locking Maya into the chamber, right? So that she couldn't escape. But I think what's also going to happen if we fast forward if her mother is now dead, and one of the instructions that was given to her, potentially from Pearls, because remember, we never under we never got a reason why Pearls was over there, unless she received instructions as well, and unwittingly had told Maya to channel Dahlia. So that would have forced the mother to channel Dahlia because she found out about it from Pearls, because she was with Pearls at the time. So to try to stop her from channeling it, Elise did that and then ended up locking her in because she was Dahlia. But then nothing stopping Maya from still channeling the person. So I'm wondering if when we go to rescue her now, she will be in the form of Dahlia and they're going to do a switcheroo. So that's what I'm thinking. It's very convoluted and dumb <laughs> to some extent that they wouldn't find Maya, but find another Dahlia and not question it. But we also have to go into the standpoint of Iris knew this would potentially happen and had already been told this by Dahlia. So she was willing to do whatever it was to make it up to her sister. So I think that is what is about to happen. I think I have caught up on the plot. I don't entirely understand what Godot was doing there, because presumably he is the one that did it. And presumably, if it was Dahlia in Elisa's body, she would try to implicate Maya to begin with. So that's why the bloody writing was there, because it wasn't technically the other person that did it. I think I'm following the pathway there. And because she was channeling Dahlia, Godot wanted his revenge for his eyesight. And therefore, that's why he killed her. So he now has a motive, but I don't know what he killed her with. So we haven't seen that yet, but I'm sure it'll be introduced at some point. Chat saying convoluted and dumb. Yeah, that'll be it then. I'm thinking so. Like, I'm telling you, Chat, like, when it comes to these things, I'm like, I can figure out mystery games if they play by certain rules. I am like 90% sure that is what is about to happen. And let's see how accurate that is. I, I had to think about it for a little bit because they've been hinting earthquakes since the whole session. And my mind is like, what would they need an earthquake for from a plot standpoint? And like, now that this has happened, I now understand what they needed it for. Right. Ah, well, what are you doing here? Ugh. Oh, could I have? So he would have let an Iris he would have let Iris get away because he's scared of earthquakes so the switch could happen. Interesting. How do you expect us to understand if you don't speak up? Yeah. Hey, why am I the one getting whipped? She's gone. No! The defendant, Iris. She's gone. Gone where? She fled. She escaped. What? So, it was just now, during the... See, this is the Edward's one and only weakness. His fear of earthquakes. 
Should have known better than to escort the defendant alone. As soon as the ground started shaking, everything went dark before my eyes, and I stupidly passed out. Yeah, very stupidly. That incident haunts you to this day, doesn't it? He dot dot dots. It's no excuse for letting the suspect get away. Can't believe I let it happen. Right. The inner temple area is a dead end. She could have only escaped to this side. We haven't seen her. We need to get a manhunt underway now. And search Eagle Mountain from top to bottom. Wait, Edgeworth. Have you thoroughly checked the inner temple yet? Don't be ridiculous. Why would I? The inner temple is like an island. No way to escape but to cross. No, that's not it. Harris isn't the type of person to run away, Edgeworth. What are you talking about? Mr. Bikini mentioned something when we were with her. You said the sacred cavern might have caved in because of the quake. And you think Iris might have gone to the inner temple to check on this situation. Listen, Edgeworth. I'm sure she's at the inner temple. Manhunt is not necessary. Yup, and now we're not going to find that the fact they switched because we're going to believe that she's there. But then how are we going to explain Maya not being there? I don't know if... Whatever. Well, we'll we'll see what the game says and why we don't realize something has happened. Right. Don't waste any more time. We need to get to the training hall sacred cavern now. All right, let's go. February 9th, Inner Temple Training Hall. Fortunately, the sacred cavern hadn't caved in, but what we found was something none of us could have ever expected. Can there be even more locks? What is the meaning of this? Iris. Iris, please tell me. What the hell's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We'll save for now. I am 1,000% suspicious of this alleged Iris. But, Chad, I'm going to take, like, a very short break. I just got to refill my water. I'm, like, halfway through. I don't know if we're going immediately into the trial or not. So, actually, it's just 3-2 three, two, three, investigation. So, we're not going to the trial. Disregard that. But we're going to go to another investigation. But, presumably, that's going to need a lot of text to be read. So, be right back. Okay, chat, I'm back. Let's proceed. February 9th, Inner Temple, Training Hall. Right. Is this what Godot was talking about? Yeah, the trick locks. Now then, Iris, please remove these at once. Now she's gonna refuse to, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, I'm afraid I can't. It... it's not possible for me. What? During the earthquake, when the cavern was in danger of caving in, Iris escaped. I know that there was only one lock when I last came here. 
so you're saying you can't undo the new locks? Yes. If only I was stronger. Edgeworth, how are you feeling? Look a little pale in the face. Wait, why didn't the Nagatama go off? Like you're one like you're one to talk with your face all green. Miles, Edgeworth, go and get some air. I'll watch over the suspect. You go and get the grip on yourself. Don't be ridiculous. I'm pretty f I'm perfectly far. There's no telling what sort of mistakes you could make in your current state. Go and get some rest. That's your only concern now, Miles Edgeworth. Understood. I'll handle the investigation in the garden. You take care of things here. Edgeworth. He's got so much pride that he's probably off crying in a corner of the garden. <laughs> what? That's an Edge Edgeworth away. He's the only smart and likable character. It's true. Right, it's simply another trap that hinders us in our lives. I think, I don't know if I'll complete and go to the subsequent games in the main storyline, but I think we'll at minimum do investigations at some point, like in the very near future this year. That said, one must have pride to be effective on the job. At any rate, it seems that this is where we part the ways, Phoenix Wright. I'm going to stay here and see if I can't help solve these bothersome puzzles. I see. Thanks for your help. Now then, you mind if I ask you a few things, Iris? No, not at all. Ask about escape. Why did you make a run for it, Iris? I I'm sorry, but the inner temple had been severely shaken by the strong earthquake we had. I was so worried. Just come to see. I just had to come and see. In other words, you didn't run away to escape the law. <clears throat> At least we're clear on that. I can't tell you how relieved I was when I saw the sacred cavern was all right, but... But what? Then I saw these chains here. It's all these extra locks that someone had put on the cavern's secret... Sacred cavern's door, and... Hmm. Who in the world would do something... Oh. Who in the world would do something like this? Hmm. Trick lock. These trick locks are a sacred treasure of the Crane tradition. There are hundreds of ways to set them. That's why only the person who set the lock can open it. And you aren't the one who set these locks. I don't think it's that simple, Francisca von Karma. When we were here the first time, there was only one lock. But now, somehow there's five of them. What does that mean? It means that someone wanted to secure the place even more. They wanted to secure it before you got here, Iris. Presumably because they wanted to make sure Maya couldn't get out. It means that Iris can only open one of these locks, the first one. Yes, that's correct. What? Iris, try to think, please. Is there a way around this? You need to count to five confirmed. Yeah, pretty much. Well, like I said, there are different ways to set these locks. I mean, Godot would also... <sighs> See, like, Godot could be the one that did it here. I'm still leaning that a switch happened at some point. I suppose if I went through every combination with each one, I could remove them. But... It will take time, won't it? Yes. About a day, if I had to guess. A whole day? Well, that's better than leaving the locks in place. Will you do this for us? Sure. Do whatever I can. Gotta wait another day. Hang in there, Maya. I'm gonna have to call on your inner strength now. Night of the crime. You know what, Iris? There's still one thing I don't quite get. What that? What might that be, Phoenix Wright? I think it's obvious. Iris, on the night of the murder, where were you? Please, Iris, don't give me that look. You told us you were in your room in Hasakura Temple at the time of the incident. But you were seen the same evening at the Inner Temple. And then... You were spotted at the scene of the crime in Hazakura Temple, too. Being spotted at both Hazakura Temple and the Inner Temple. It's as if you were... Well, Iris, I think it's about time you told us the truth. Uh-oh, Chad. I knew it. Something going on here that we don't know about. Okay, 
let's move on for now. February 9th, Inner Temple Gate. Finally getting to the bottom of this case. I found on Iris to break those locks, so I should try to gather more clues. From Sister Bikini, Edgeworth, Gumshoe, and Pearls. Um... Go to the garden first. Cops are still combing the place. They look pretty nervous. Be nervous too. It's gotta be a tough job. Especially with someone giving you the evil eye the whole time. Edgeworth mutters. How could I have done that? Wow. I believe it's still bothering him. Edgeworth? Ah. Oh. Hey, don't you dare run away. What do you want, right? What do I want? You came here to laugh at me, then get on with it. Go on, laugh away. Oh, I was really ready to hug it out with him. He's just the same prideful Edgeworth. Went back to the criminal affairs department, right? You said you wanted to look into something concerning Iris. Yes. Thanks to what I found. Reminded of something terrible. That's about the investigation. Guess we're putting a lot of effort into the investigation of the garden, huh? There's a high chance this is the actual scene of the crime. That's why. You mean because of the writing and blood and the talisman of the snow? Exactly. As you know, those things couldn't have been planted here after the murder. But surely, you don't suspect... Maya, do you? We have to treat everyone as a suspect. Maya as well as Iris. It's our job, right? Ask about the earthquakes. So, I guess you still haven't gone over your fear of earthquakes. No. Well, thankfully, my nightmares have stopped. But still, if the ground gives even the slightest tremor. I find myself short of breath. 17 years ago, there were little school kids at the same elementary school. Edgeworth found himself in the middle of a murder. All started with that big quake that hit the courthouse. Yes, I was stuck in the elevator with my father, who was the defense attorney. We were deprived of oxygen and we passed out. That's when it happened. That single gunshot shattered my whole life. I lost everything that day, all because of that earthquake. My dreams, my family, and myself. It's been more than 17 years now. That case was finally resolved two years ago, right? You think I don't know that? I was there! But it was such a shock. I never imagined I could be so wrong about myself and my life. <laughs> I'm sorry, right? There's nothing else I could say. Not after you chose to become a lawyer for my sake. And not after... Oh, and not after you saved me. Edgeworth, you're stronger than you think. No more of this self-pity, okay? Ask about Iris. Something that bothered me about her from the moment we met. Like I'd seen her somewhere before. No. Wait. Not somewhere before. Felt like I'd seen her in court before. So you went back to the Criminal Affairs Department to look for her file? Yes. Looked over every case file I'd ever worked on. I was right. I had seen her face before. Six years ago. Six years ago? It was my first appearance in court. As cases go, it was my worst nightmare. You mean worst? I think that meant worst there. So? Who is she? I'm sorry, right? I can't give that information away to a member of the general public. What? Why not? not? It might be a crucial piece of the puzzle that solves this case. The woman I knew was the daughter of a jewelry, jewelry store owner. It had nothing to do with Iris and the Hazakura Temple. Neither did the case. No, no, they are connected, Edgeworth. No. That woman is completely unrelated to this murder. Yeah, I don't think so. Doubt in the chat, right, chat? Like, oh yeah, it's definitely not related to Dahlia, rolls eyes. Unrelated? Yes. I can say that with complete confidence. Well, you could be confidently wrong, then. You're wrong, Edgeworth. She's totally related to this case. 
I need to fill Edgeworth in. I need to explain the connection between Iris and the woman Edgeworth knew. Do we have the other character's profile here? Oh, we actually don't. Oh, that's awkward. So we're gonna have to have somebody tell us about the character we already know? It's kind of dumb. Well, oh well. I guess we'll move on for now. We're like, not that person, and then we just don't elaborate or do anything else. February 9th, Dusky Bridge. It's weird that there's no one around all of a sudden. It gets quiet up here in the mountains when you're all on your own. Speaking of alone, I think you'll check out the shack just down the path. Maybe you'll find Larry sulking there again. Sure, let's go to Heavenly Hall. February 9th, Heavenly Hall. Oh, Mr. Nick! Pearls, what are you doing here? Nothing. What about Mystic Maya? Is she alright? Um, well, we don't know yet. Oh, I see. Hey, what do you think you're doing here, Nick? Larry, this is the loser shack where losers get together to lose themselves. This is the what? Hey, we find comfort in each other's failures, okay? You got a problem with that? Look, Mr. Nick. Mr. I'm gonna call him Larry. Mr. Larry did a picture of me. That's, um, great, Pearls. Go to gather firewood now. We'll be cooking some half-rotten potatoes over a miserable little campfire. Ew, why would you do that? Let's we'll stay out of our way. I don't believe this. Why can't he try getting fired up over becoming a better man? Damn. No one believes a word I say anymore. Listen to me, Pearl. I want to trust this kind of guy, okay? I'll only let you down. Oh, Mystic Maya. Guess we'll talk to Pearls. Let's ask about the sketch. Larry, is there something you want to tell me about this picture? <laughs> I've got nothing to say to you, Nick. Who lives here now with Pearl? Two losers cooking potatoes together forevermore. Are, are you kidnapping her? What is going on here? What am I going to do with him? All right, then. What do you think about this picture, Pearls? I think it's really well drawn. I can't draw at all, so I think it's really amazing. See? Someone appreciates it. Stop getting the flames to look like that, you know. It's supposed to be Sister Iris flying through the air, isn't it? I love it. It's like a dream. A wonderful fantasy. No, no, it wasn't a dream. She's your problem now, Larry. He's your problem, Pearls. Exactly. She really flew. I'm telling you, Iris really flew that night. But, Mr. Larry... Ugh. Not you, too. Please don't look at me like that, Pearl. Don't look at me like I'm some kind of nutcase, I beg of you. I guess this picture really is a representation of what Larry thinks he saw. Okay, so I was half asleep when I was here that night. I was wide awake after the lightning struck. I saw what I saw. It's exactly like the, what I drew in the picture. Looks like I don't have a choice but to take this sketch at face value. Hey, what's the... What's with that look of doubt on your face? Ask about the night of the crime. Um, Pearls. Yes, Mr. Nick? I've been meaning to ask you about the night of the murder. Where were you? What exactly were you doing when it all happened? I, um, I... I was just, well, I'm just a kid, you know. I'm sure it doesn't really matter what I was doing, does it, Mr. Nick? Oh, actually, you know what? Hmm. Is it possible? Well... Oh, she does have channeling powers, too. I wasn't thinking about that earlier. Maybe she was the one that read the instructions to channel the other person? I didn't think about that until just now. I might have been slightly off in who was channeling who. Again, it's just kind of a weird scenario to be in. I'm not thinking with pure logic here since we're in nonsense fantasy land. Sorry, Pearls. Yes, it does. The night of the murder. You're supposed to be in Miss Stonem's room reading a book together. But Stonem was murdered and you, Pearls, were at the inner temple. Nah. So what exactly happened that night, Pearls? I'm really sorry, Mr. Nick. Everybody has locks today. That's a lot of locks. Hi. 
I've been a bad girl. That's why I'm being punished. What are you talking about, Pearls? My spiritual power. It's disappeared. Okay, so we... Okay. So we already know... Or at least we assume so. That they can't have more than one person channeling the same person. So she probably tried channeling the thing that was taken away. So she probably tried channeling Dahlia at some point. Unintentionally. Like, without realizing who she was. What? Her powers have disappeared. Ask about lost powers. It would be funny if Pearls was the killer, though, chat. That that would I would laugh and be like, good riddance to this character. I don't want to see this character again. What do you mean your power has disappeared, Pearls? It's it's all over for me. Spirit medium who can't channel spirits is like a painter who can't paint. It's okay. We're a lawyer that can't lawyers, and we're still here for some reason. Hey, what are you looking at me for? Pearls? Did you try to channel someone's spirit right here at Hazakura Temple? Tried but failed, perhaps? Uh... Wah! Way to go, Nick. You made her cry. That's... That was really cruel of you. Wah! They're all crying. Just as I thought. I have to break her cyclox to get the truth out of her. Okay, well... Go to the courtyard, I guess, or whatever. Um... Here, February 9th, Hasekura Temple main gate. Your sister bikinis back at the main hall yet. I see Gumshoe around for a while either. Maybe they're having a cup of tea together. Gumshoe is sister bikinis type. What? Go to the main hall then. February 9th, Hasekura Temple main hall. Oh, she's here already. I thought she wouldn't be here. Well, what's the damage? How is the sacred cavern? Hello, remote battery. Uh, we're working our way towards it. We have a very long investigation phase, apparently. Looks like it survived. We have a bigger problem now. So, so Murphy says, and we're going to read his joke, Pearl ran away right now, which should be a small medium at large. Exactly. <clears throat> so let's reread the, the statement here. Looks like it survived, but we have a bigger problem now. What's this a bikini all about it? About the five locks that were stopping us from getting inside the sacred cavern. But who? Who could have done that? The only person who knows how to set those trick locks are those of the Korean tradition. We have Iris at the sacred cavern. We're trying our best to open them for us right now. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to talk with you about, Sister Bikini. Oh, yes. We're in the middle of a chat, weren't we? Yeah, we haven't seen Godot since the earthquake, which is also kind of weird. It's possible he got locked in there. So may maybe maybe it wasn't... So it is possible he's in there, I guess. If we haven't seen him that yet. And therefore, Iris would have run away knowing she wouldn't be seen. Because technically she's there and they could have done the swap. So this, st this still technically works. Yes. You were telling me how the Master of Korean disappeared 17 years ago. I want to know why Misty Faye suddenly appeared at this temple. It was about a week ago when Mystic Elise, no, I mean Mystic Misty, arrived. After she showed me the talisman that proved she was the Master, she said, Someone is trying to destroy the Korean tradition's main family line. I'm here to put a stop to them. Someone was trying to destroy the main family line? There's only one heir to the title of master at any time, and usually it's the eldest. A child becomes the new master, Karain, and her daughter's the main family. All of their mediums become branch family members. No hope of controlling the clan. You know, very common things that happen in the U.S. We, we talk about branch families all the time in the U.S. chat. Every time. That's why nothing has changed throughout the history of the clan. Also, we refer to ourselves as clans. <laughs> the family units. Branch families always have, and always will, plot to erase those of the main family line. Is the power of the master worth this much bloodshed? Talk to her. Green channeling technique. Hmm. You believe in the technique, don't you, Mr. Wright? You know its power is real. 
<laughs> Some Americans who affirm themselves as clans. Mm. <laughs> Not quite in the same sense, I would think, though. Yes, I do. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say. I was like. I'm like. I can think of one thing, but not. Not in that sense. It's been two years since I first met Maya. In that time, I've seen her channel the spirits of the dead plenty of times. During the mask. Oh, jeez. Don't remind me of mask the mask. And during Maggie Bird's trial too. Thanks to Maya, Mia's always on hand to help out whenever I need her the most. Brain technique has made a huge difference to the world, you know. I mean, the ability to commune with the dead. That's true psychic power, you know. Members of the tradition have always been there. Find every important leader. Always. Yeah, emphasis on always, indeed. Who wouldn't respect such a tremendous skill? I suppose so, but... All that power and influence. I kind of expect you'd be really rich by now. <laughs> wow, okay. Are you saying we're poor, Mr. Wright? Oh, ho, ho. You're very direct, aren't you? People don't believe in it anymore, you see. All because of one little mistake. Mistake? What mistake? What do you mean, what mistake? Did you for- I mean- I know- I understand why new players wouldn't know this, but why does he not remember the quote-unquote mistake? It was 17 years ago. That's when everything came crashing down. And you were even reading that case earlier. I don't know why you don't remember this. <laughs> Right, chat? Like, weren't you just doing research on this person? Why don't you know this? Right? All because of that incident. That incident? Are you talking about what I think she is? Yes, Phoenix. I'm sure the record still exists if you're interested. Locked up, of course. It was called the DL6 incident. That's the name of the file. Yeah, that was like the entirety of the first game. DL6 incident. I knew it. Yes. DL6 incident. DL6 incident. I know it well. Handled a related case just two years ago. I think Phoenix's left and right brain hemisphere is separated by about two feet of air. That's true. There's two cells and they're not communicating with each other properly. Ah, that's right. So it was you who was the defense attorney on that case. A murder that took place 17 years ago. It was the first time in the country's history the police ever used the spirit medium. The idea was to channel the victim's spirit to learn the identity of the murderer. The medium who performed the channeling was Misty Fay, Maya's mother. Through Mystic Misty's channeling, the name of a certain man surfaced. Along with that as evidence, the investigators were spurred into action. That man. He's found not guilty, wasn't he? That's right, he was. And the case remained a mystery. In other words, we failed. It was the first case the world had ever seen the Korean tradition openly involved in. It was all over the media, the public, the judiciary, the people of the Crane village, the yodel in between the two brain cells. Everyone judged her. Everyone said Mystic... I hate that phrase. That Mystic missed his powers were a sham. And then she just disappeared. Vanished while everyone still thought of her as a fraud. But I know the truth. You see, Faye's spirit channeling wasn't a sham at all. Of course it wasn't. Since you managed to reveal the truth, we're finally making a comeback. Brain tradition is starting to recover at last. With the new master wielding the power of the clan. She mean Maya? Yes? Why does he keep asking questions? What are we... What are we, uh... The... the the Suikoden PSP game? Are we Blue Donna? Are we just gonna repeat everything she says to us with a question mark at the end? Family feud. The spiritual power of the crane channeling technique is in the blood. Oh no, in the blood? Yeah, we gotta go back to Hades at some point. Maya's told me the exact same thing before. Me, the women of the Fae Clan, have always been spirit mediums. Because the power to communicate with spirits Flows strongly through us. According to the according to Maya, only the women in the family can inherit that power. The main family's bloodline stems through the Reaper's power. There we go, show Boldy. The main family's bloodline stems directly from Mystic Army. 
But with each new generation, only one daughter becomes the new master. Ones who don't become branch families, right? That's right. It's always the cause of tragedy. You know, I had a sister too. An older sister named Mia. Oh yes, I've heard of her. What? You know about Mia? Of course. I became a lawyer in the hopes of discovering what happened to her mother. And lost her life. As a result. Do you know what Mystic Mia's rumor to have said? I mean, she said a lot of things post-death, so who knows what this could be in reference to. She said it wasn't only because of her mother that she became a lawyer. She also didn't want to fight with her sister over the leadership of the tradition. Really? Well, she saw what happened to her own mother, Mystic Misty, as she grew up. Yes, Mystic Mia got tired of seeing all the rivalry between her mom and her aunt. That's right. Let's see if I had an older sister, too. And Misty, having superior powers, managed to usurp the master seat from her. Mystic Misty's sister is Mystic Morgan, as you probably know. Oh no, not the hairdo, it's coming. Morgan? There's a name I know well. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm, we're going flashback into the second game. It's a year ago now at Maya's home, Karain Village. There's the- <laughs> I just- <laughs> That silhouette is so outrageous. Every time, chat, it's like, what the heck is that? The hair is back, chat. What she did was terrible. Yeah, I was gonna say, that must be really uncomfortable to have your hair like that. It was all she could make her own daughter- Oh, it was also she could make her own daughter the next master. I suppose if you know about Mystic Morgan's daughter, then you must have already realized that Iris is- Huh? Iris? What's Iris got to do with any of this? That Iris is Mystic Morgan's daughter. Uh, I didn't quite see that coming, but it would also potentially make sense <clears throat> with some of the communications between the characters. I don't know if this. I don't think this really changes the the thread of what happened, but that's interesting, I guess. So I guess that means Dahlia Hawthorne was also a branch family member by extension. I guess? What? Iris is what? Is she kidding me? Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? Yeah, I love how they also... Also, I love how they just kind of introduce these characters. So why didn't Pearl stay with Iris? Are we gonna get an explanation for that other than they didn't think of her in the second game in context of the universe? Morgan and Iris. I mean, it's kind of like one of those things where they're like, oh, this person's on their own and basically they're being raised by somebody. Also, by the way, they just happen to have two sisters we just never talked about or mentioned at all. We didn't talk about custody or, you know, any of those other things. I guess we just took pearls from her family, question mark. <laughs> right, chat? Like, um... Doesn't this raise a lot of legal questions, how that this went that long without them ever finding pearls? Did you just say that Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? Oops, I thought you already knew. It sounded like you'd met one of Mystic Morgan's daughters already. She has a new family now, it's Larry. Or if he says Goku, you can't just steal a kid like we kidnapped you. Hmm. Even Blue Dawn is confused. I have. Know her very well. Oh. Yes, Pearls. Pearl Faye. I always thought she was an only child. You jest, that child. She's Mystic Morgan's. I had no idea. Mystic Morgan. That's a lot of dot dot dots in there. But she's in prison now, isn't she? Yes. Prison she is found to be a co-conspirator in a murder case last year. <laughs> in the previous game. Oh, there's the hair. The hair returns, chat. Mystic Merles. It's all done to set Pearls up as the next master. Ah, see. I've been wrong all this time. Mystic Morgan had three daughters, not two. Wait, what? Three? Yes. Iris, her twin sister, and Mystic Pearl. What? It's a twin sister? Oh, didn't you know? It all happened 20 years ago. I guess the shadow of everything flogging out the sun, pretty much. 
After the clan leadership was taken from her by her sister, Mystic Morgan's life crumbled. There we go, demon face. It wasn't many years later that Crane's reputation hit an all-time low. Mystic Morgan's husband realized his wife would never become the master. He left her in the village, taking their twin daughters with him. <laughs> Until next game and find out there's a fourth child. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what really happens other than I know Phoenix is allegedly not the focus, but is still in it in the other games. How awful. He was a jeweler, you know. In the end, he remarried, and that's when it happened. Definitely not related to that jewelry store case you were just talking about with Edgeworth. He decided to give one of his girls up to be looked after by us here at the temple. That was Iris, you see. Just unbelievable. Iris has a twin sister. Could it be? Um, you tell me one more thing, Sister Bikini. What was the name of Iris' sister? I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I just can't remember. All I can remember is that her father was a jeweler. Well, that's a clue, I guess. Hmm, a jeweler. Thank you very much. Help clear up a lot of details. Girls had two older sisters, huh? Yes, that's right. No doubt it was all because of Mystic Morgan's anger toward the main family. Anger? What do you mean? Her twin daughters were taken from her by a ju her jeweler husband. Even that couldn't destroy her dream that a child of hers would one day lead the clan. I don't like, th I don't like that phrasing there. That's why she had pearls? It seems that the incident here was a result of Mystic Morgan's anger. Able to... He was able to break free of the bars that confine her. Iris had a twin sister. Gee, chat, the silhouette could be anybody. The plot thickens. This information will be useless unless I can flush it out a bit. You can ask more questions to get more info. Well, let's go to the courtyard. February 9th, how's the Korra Temple Courtyard? Assuming Gumshoe is here. Looks like someone's happy. The tune is that they're humming. Why is the old man theme playing? I don't really want to sing song this. But he's saying no motive, no crime, no motive, no crime. Sing it with me, no motive, no crime. So, in the Phoenix Wright universe, are there just no random serial killings? Like, if you just, like, go down the street and just arbitrarily decide to pull out a gun and shoot somebody, will you never get convicted in this universe because you never have a motive? I I've been wondering that for a while now, actually. I'm glad they brought that up again. I meant to mention that last session. Happy tune being hum, bum bum, ba boom. Yeah, pretty much. So I remember when we used to search in the channeling room in Korean. Yeah, exactly. No Jack the Ripper, I guess. Everybody just has to have a motive. Or they can't have psychotic breaks or anything that would explain things. One, well, you won't have the gun in the first place. They're actually quite hard to get. Well, Murphy, this is America. That's not true. <laughs> According to the Phoenix universe. Or a knife. <laughs> Whoop, I love my job. Who cares if the clues I find are no good? That's not what I'm. That's not what investigating is all about. Four o'clock, exactly. Investigator investigates for the love of investigating. It's a passion. You have to pass the background check, but I mean, it's just random killings. What any character you've seen so far pass the background check? I mean, maybe Gumshoe. <laughs> good. So, good cases we have, good cases we've lost along the way. I never have guessed that Gumshoe was into reggae? What? I, that's why I didn't even want to try to hum it or sing it. How is that re- uh, whatever. Oh my gosh. I realized it's a song parody now that I got to this. Isn't this a Bob Marley song? Wow, really? Really? Is, isn't it that like the every little thing will be all right? Isn't that how that song goes normally? This time it's every case is going to be airtight. Oh, man. <laughs> this 
This one is special. That is... That is is special indeed. Hey, pal. Huh? Who, me? How long have you been there? I just got here, and I saw your really awkward pop culture reference. Oh, okay. So what are you up to, detective? I'm investigating, pal. I made a promise to Mr. Edgeworth. I promised I would find the real murder weapon. Real murder weapon. That barbed sword thing turned out to be a false lead, right? I'm giving it my best shot. I still haven't turned up any clues. Just found these weird scraps of paper. Looks like a letter or something. Doesn't seem to have anything to do with the case, though. Well, I mean, it's probably the instructions to Pearl, so this is absolutely something to do to, with it. I've been thinking for a while now, that's why Pearls was acting weird, is because she received instructions to do something. So I would like to actually learn what it, it allegedly is in the universe at some point. A letter. Talk to him about the investigation. How's the investigation going, Detective Gumshoe? I don't know if I should be telling you, pal, but I guess it can't hurt. Looks like the murder took place in the Inner Temple Garden. And they're taking that bloody writing on the lantern pretty seriously back at HQ. What? You mean... I don't have the details, pal. All I know is if you don't find Maya down in that sacred cavern, we're gonna be faced with one ugly situation. What kind of ugly situation are we looking at here? You got me, I don't know. They're not my words, pal. And who said it? Mr. Godot. Godot? What did he mean by that? Ask about the letter. Not that letter you found. Don't remind me, pal. I'm busting a gut here trying to find the murder weapon. All I find is some burn up old letter. Alright, so it says, Be careful. Once night. Something something should be there. As soon as you heat the presumably lamp lighting. And... Oh, no, 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 no. As soon as you hear the ringing of R, and I'm assuming they accidentally said out instead of R, because, you know, typos. You must channel her spirit, leave everything up to her. Good. Okay. Now, now we know. <laughs> so, I, I think it's... Okay, so that's... So, at some point, Pearls tried to do it, and then she couldn't do it. And that's presumably because the letters were found being burned, presumably by the victim who then channeled the killer. Well, Dolly Hawthorne, more specifically. Run up a letter. Yeah. Isn't that incinerator right outside the inner temple? The incinerator? I knew it. I knew I wasn't imagining it. There was snow in the incinerator when I first saw it. I was gonna say Pearl's burning something again in the incinerator. <laughs> That pearls just can't escape incinerators. After the incident, the snow had melted away. Which means someone used the incinerator on the night of the murder. What's up with you, pal? Got it right here if you want to take a look. Can I? Do you mind? Sure, go nuts. Don't want it, pal. You can have it. It's all spirit mediums and master stuff. It's got no relation to the case. Spirit mediums? Print letter added to the court record. I'm by Gumshoe in the Inner Temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. It's gotta be important if it mentions spirit mediums and masters. Better give it a good looking over and some serious thought. I'm sure you chuck it in the trash when you're done. Glittering is a crime, pal. Oh, we could we could see a zoom in of this. Oh, so there's more than three Whoa, okay. Once this is red, presumably, burn the letter. Also make sure you don't tell anyone about this letter. Okay. Uh, let me read it in order, actually. Uh, be careful... Probably not to tell anybody. Once night falls... Um... Something, something, probably you should be there. As soon as you hear the lights... Oh, the, hear the lights out, Belle. That makes more sense now. You must channel her spirit, leave everything up to her. Her name is Dahlia Hawthorne. She is our... Um... Our... Probably something related to family. The whole... I don't know what's there. Here's a picture of her. Use it when you channel her. I know you can do it. Probably once this is read by you, 
burn the letter. Also make sure not to tell anyone about this letter. So that, that one I think I figured out. Bravely roast the master in the fires of Hades and bring our vengeance to fruition. Oh, they're doing a pun. That's why they did gravy. They did gravy on the, the poster. Because she misread gravy and gravely. Let's see what they did there. Yog, indeed. So how did she read the and bring our vengeance to fruition and go through with this plan? Like, what? Why did she? Why did she follow through with those last lines? Murder weapon. What do you know about the real murder weapon so far? Well, it wasn't the seven branch sword that was found impaled in the victim's body. Mr. Edgeworth proved that in court today. Yes, that's true. In which case, it must have been another blade. That's what you're running around like a headless chicken looking for now, huh? Yeah, and man, is it tiring work. But let me tell you something, pal. I'm no chicken. We've got the feather of forensics in our cap these days. We're using the department's secret weapon on this. Oh, did you bring rocket or whatever? Girls may have gotten gravy wrong, but she can read by better than Phoenix or Maya, that's true. Secret weapon. What's the secret weapon of yours? You wanna know? You gotta think scientifically, okay? Alright. The murder weapon was a sword. Oh, metal detector? Never mind. I thought they were sniffing out something specifically to say, like, who was holding it last. But sure, you can bring out the metal detector from the first game, that's fun. Swords are, scientifically speaking, made of metal, right? Any questions so far? No. Nobody's gonna say, but I'll let them look smart. <laughs> Damn. So what's the perfect tool for the job? Ta-da! A metal detector. Raise your hand if you didn't see this coming from a mile away. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping we get a rocket cameo, though. Because it's part of his tool collection, to be fair. Well, you want to give a... Give scientific investigation a go? Huh? Me? I've been using this thing for hours now. It's pretty boring after a while. Why don't you give it a try? I don't know. Did I help detect the gumshoe out or not? Oh, we're doing it. Come on, pal. It's good fun, I'm telling you. All right, then. I guess I'll give it a go. Like I said, this is the most department's most advanced gadget. The absolute best. No, no, no. There's a better one. Chat would definitely agree the dog was the right choice. <laughs> so sensitive you can make it cry so high tech you could skydive off it what oh bother so now i'm gonna tell you how to use it it's possible the real murder weapons around here somewhere right sure that's what we're trying to find out uh oh chris is the star of destiny you got called out by blue donna right so first let's turn the detector on that's the sound of oh I didn't realize it was gonna keep going. But anyway, next move the detector around and give this courtyard a good look, see pal. Don't worry, this baby will let you know when you've hit on something metallic. I don't know why it's suddenly auto advancing text, and when that happens, hit enter and give the area a good hard stare. But I'm not using a keyboard. This thing picks up metallic objects that are hidden from sight, too. You can look at anything and everything that seems suspicious, okay, pal? Stop advancing the dialogue automatically. Looks like a wallet? Aha! Uh -huh. That's where it's been. Oh, is he really looking for his wallet? Is it yours, detective? I'm always dropping it, so I put a bell on it. But you still dropped it anyway. Yeah, but now I found it again, pal. The wallet is completely empty. Well, I drop it all the time, so I don't put money in it anymore. How come the metal detector picked it up? Well, he said he put a bell on it. I mean, he just answered that question. Must have been because of the bell, I guess. That seven branch sword next to the golden statue wasn't the real murder weapon, pal. Yeah, I know. I thought I'd check it again anyway. Oh yeah, that reminds me. You know about that sword? It's supposed to represent the multiple branches that life can take. All ending is one. It's almost like it's a metaphor for the branch families we've been talking about the whole game. Yes, I heard something about that. You know what I think about sometimes? What kind of life I'd be leading had I not joined the homicide division? Think about that kind of stuff, detective? Of course I do. Think about it a lot. Me as a traffic cop. Me as a detention officer. Me as the blue badger. 
There's something to be said about the humor value of Gumshoe as the Blue Badger. Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. Okay, so if I have properly investigated all of the ladders and stuff, I think I should have gotten an achievement. However, since it did not fire, I'm assuming I did- I missed one somewhere. So rip ladders versus step, step ladders achievement. I did not see it pop up on my screen. What's the difference? Looks like a normal ladder to me, pal. I don't know what game I missed it in, and I definitely do not feel like replaying three games to see what ladder I didn't talk to at a certain time, even though I'm pretty sure I did it in all of them. But maybe me reloading the games has confused it a bit. Surely everyone knows the difference. I mean, they're pretty ordinary objects. I've met plenty of guys like you, pal. I've always pick it on the smallest details. The vegetable store guy near my place does it all the time. He even corrects me when I ask for a head, a head of lettuce. That's cabbage, he says. I'm telling you, they're the same exact thing. No, they're not. They're completely different. You have to plant both of them firmly in the ground before they can grow, don't you? Listen, you gotta take a step back and look at the bigger picture sometimes. Otherwise, you can miss a really important clue. That's advice from a pro. Last person I need advice from is the guy in front of me. Oh no, I got it. I did actually just get it. I heard it go off. Anyway, let's look at the staff. This is Miss Stonem's staff, isn't it? Scientifically speaking, they're usually made of wood. There we go, chat. I somehow got that achievement, but not all the meals from the first game, whatever. But the detector is reacting to it. Yeah, but however you look at it, the thing's made of wood, all right? I don't bother investigating anything unless it looks like it might be metallic. The whole point of a metal detector to find metal where you can't see it? Weird this thing is causing a racket. Here, let me take a look at it. Hey, hands off! Dimming evidence is a job for the... Rack. Ah! The top is coming off. Look what you've done. You've damaged a really important piece of evidence. Ah! I was actually about to ask if it was a sword cane. I, my mouth opened, and I'm like, wait, is that... Okay. That's a... A sword. Inside the saff. Is this... Could it be? The murder weapon? Murder weapon. I never guessed there'd be a sword concealed in the victim's staff. They call this kind of thing a sword cane, pal. This one's a real gem. The worksmanship is really something else. <laughs> it's actually a clock. Yeah, you, you look at it, it's got like a digital reading on it and everything. And then when it was used as a murder weapon, it just says, time to die. <laughs> Thank goodness it wasn't a cane sword, or else the victim would have stabbed her own foot. I officially give up on trying to figure out how Gumshoe's mind works. The real scene of the crime was the inner temple garden. Why was the sword used to kill the victim found in the main hall courtyard? Hey, Gumshoe. Who knows about the hidden sword? No one. Even the police didn't know about it until I discovered it just now. Another fine Larry Butts product? Exactly. Well, as they say, there's no team in Gumshoe. Yeah, but there's also us. I don't know if that really works. It doesn't look like there are any traces of blood on it. Then I guess this isn't the murder weapon, huh? I mean, couldn't you just wipe it clean? No, no, no. I'm sure someone just wiped it off after the murder. Yeah, okay, thank you, Phoenix. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, of course. This thing's definitely the murder weapon. Great job, pal. So, presumably Godot got the body of the person across. Then maybe they carried them on the snowmobile to go back. And then they staged the murder? About the same length as the Seven Branch Sword, too. This must be the murder weapon. Okay, I'm gonna run over to the forensics. There's gotta be some traces of blood left, even if most of it's been wiped off. See you later, pal. I'm not gonna repeat the lyrics. Insert Bob Marley reference. Hold it! Hold it. Wait up, detective. Huh? What is it, pal? I'm a pretty busy guy right now, you know. You're gonna get that staff analyzed, right? Do you mind holding off for just a while? Huh? 
What are you talking about, pal? Please, just until we find Maya. Maya? What's this got to do with her? I don't know, but I'm starting to get a really bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. Oh? How so? Look, Maya's trapped inside the sacred cavern right now, and... Well, we don't even know if she's okay or not. The more evidence and testimony I hear, the more uneasy I feel. You don't think... Maya's been mur- Please, Detective. Let's just wait until we can get inside the sacred cavern. You're... You're looking kind of ready in there. Okay, okay, I'll just stop... Just stop it... Oh, so let me try this again. Just stop it with that face, pal. One thing, though. Staff's secret trick. Let's keep it between you and me, all right? If it gets out we knew about it, it didn't say anything. We're finished. I understand. It's just a regular run-of-the-mill staff. You got it? Okay, now take good care of it, pal. Thank you, detective. Don't worry, she'll be fine. Gumshoe? You know, there's a place at the base of this mountain that has some really good pasta. How about I take you there when you find Maya, huh, pal? But evidence law, exactly. Poor evidence law. Sure, thanks. Victim staff has a sword hidden inside. No one knows this except me and Detective Gumshoe. Uh, we gave it to Detective Gumshoe for safe peeping, I think. Can't help but wonder, though. It was at least on him doing with a staff like this in the first place. Okay. Uh, so... Okay, so we did get the profile from the other conversation. It showed up, but they didn't directly say that it got added. It's fine. So I think we can talk to Edgeworth now, then. So many little paths I have to keep taking. My chat, so many selections. Present the mystery person. Morgan Faye's daughter and Iris' twin sister. Her father deals with jewelry, apparently. Hey, Edgeworth. Did you know that Iris had a twin sister? What? A, a twin? You can't be serious. Sister Bikini told me, but... The problem is, she didn't know the name of this twin. There was nothing about Iris having a sister in the files I checked. Well, Iris was taken in by the temple when she was really young. Dango says you cleared it with a detective, so it's valid and no troubles can be had, so as long as it's relevant. Oof. Apparently, your sister was raised by her father. A jeweler, I think. A jeweler? Right, I... I just might know who this twin sister of hers is. I had a feeling you'd say that. Let me guess. Her name is Dahlia Hawthorne, right? Yes, exactly. Please tell me what you know about her, Edgeworth. Please. Hold on, chat. We gotta present something important. Look at my attorney badge. Is that your attorney's badge? Interesting. You know what, chat? You know what I'm really disappointed in? They had a chance to do the achievements all they wanted, and there's not an achievement for just showing everybody your attorney badge. Disappointed, chat. Is that your attorney's badge? Interesting. Never imagined I'd ever see you wearing one of these, right? Because of you that I became one, Edgeworth. Not that I have any regrets. Really don't. Should have at least had the attorney's badge exactly. If you're trying to say thanks. You can start by saying it a bit louder. Uh, let's talk to him about Dahlia Hawthorne. My first court case six years ago. I was a greenhorn. And due to my inexperience, the defendant died. You're talking about Terry Falls, right? You know about that case. I'm not the only one who noticed something about Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne. Check one of Mia's old files from six years ago. Yes, Dahlia was a key witness in that case. Dahlia and Terry Falls conspired together to stage a fake kidnapping 11 years ago. Sold a jewel worth $2 million from Dahlia's father, a jeweler.
And we very irresponsibly let them keep the poison bottles for some reason. And five years after that, she murdered her own sister, Ellie Hawthorne, to keep her from talking. Her sister? Well, her stepsister, actually. They weren't blood-related. Ellery was the only daughter of Dahlia's father's second wife. Oh. And this is when she entered my life. The woman who tried to kill me. After Terry Falls died, what happened to Dahlia? Did you check that out? Does it really matter? Like I said, Dahlia isn't connected with this case. Why are you so sure about that? It's simple. Dahlia Hawthorne is dead. I mean, we we figured that out a long time ago, so at least now our character knows. <laughs> what? Well, the metabolic processes are a matter of interest only to historians, so to speak. Ask about her death. What do you mean by Dahlia Hawthorne is dead, Edgeworth? Right. I must confess that in reading her file, I came to know of the murder case you were involved in during your college years. Dahlia Hawthorne was found guilty, thanks to the persistence of Mia Fey. There's the Mia Fey. Mia Fey! There we go. Demon face. Goodbye, butterflies. Enjoy your pizza, Nate, when it arrives. At the time, Dahlia, it's like she was possessed by a demon or something. It's been almost five years since the guilty verdict was handed down. Her sentence was finally carried out. She was executed last month. Oh, damn. Executed? I'm sure that's a bit of a shock for you, right? For more reasons than one. But you understand now. She can't possibly be connected with this case. She's dead. When someone is dead, there's no way to revive them. Why is the... Why is the text auto advancing? Stop that. Stop that. I don't know what keeps happening that keeps causing that, but please don't do that. I'm like, I'm barely reading it, and then it's like immediately scrolling. Like, I'm taking a drink, I open my mouth, and then it skips ahead. Bad game. I don't know what keeps causing that. There doesn't seem to be a button I can press that does that, which is weird. But anyway, let's go back to the dialogue. Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, D-pad doesn't do it by accident, right stick doesn't do anything. So I, d I don't think I'm accidentally touching a button here. It just seems to do that occasionally. Seems you're not aware of one other connection yet, Edgeworth. And what is that? About Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne's mother. What's their mother got to do with any of this? She's Morgan Fay, Spirit medium from her branch family of the Korean channeling technique. Did you say Korean channeling technique? Do you know something about it? Oh, yes. I know it's connected with that fraudulent spirit medium. Fraudulent. I was involved in another nightmare 17 years ago. I was caught up in the middle of a murder investigation. The police didn't have any leads. They were stumped, and that's when they called her in. This very famous spirit medium, the master of her channeling school. Do you know what happened? The result of her efforts, an innocent man was accused of murder. She and her powers, they were all fraudulent. Edgeworth. Go to the police records room. It's all in there. All you have to do is check the DL6 incident case file, and you'll know. Of course. Gotta forget. Edgeworth was the victim in that case. Edgeworth, you'll understand someday. And then you'll see the crane channeling technique is real. Okay. Let's talk to her again. Maybe we have enough to accuse her? So, the reason why she spotted in two places is because of the channeling technique. Maybe with the instructions... That might be good enough? 
wonder how Edgeworth rationalizes the Cyclox if he doesn't believe in spirit mediums. He's just gonna refuse to believe it, it's okay. Let's present our attorney badge. Oh, we got whipped. Alright, so we can't ask. So sorry, Luke. we didn't get her opinion, we just got whipped for wasting her time. Let's present the Megatama. I think we got enough to maybe do this. The night of the crime. I think it's time you told the truth about what you were doing on that night. You said you were in your room at Hasakura Temple the entire time. You still claim that to be the truth. Yes, that's where I was. Iris, believe you're innocent. That's why I want to believe what you're telling me too, but I can't. Because this person saw you somewhere else on the night of the murder. Present Bikini. Talking about Sister Bikini, of course. Sister Bikini? Her testimony in court today was very clear. Yeah, so they're just saying she returned to the temple and left the acolyte there. Mm. Sister Bikini didn't just see you, she spoke with you. She talked about Maya's training that night. Do you see, Iris? You were there at the inner temple at the night of the murder. That's... very impressive, Mr. Wright. Nicolite's actual training was due to start after 10 o'clock that night. I left the main hall early so I wouldn't be late. What time was that? Let me see. It takes about 20 minutes to walk between the main hall and the inner temple. So, I would have left at about 9.40pm, I think. I'm sorry, Iris. The lying just doesn't suit you. Huh? Now you say you left the main hall at 9.40, but what you say doesn't add up with this. Um... Oh, well, her own testimony. Take that. Take that! You yourself testified to the contrary, don't you remember? I mean, she wouldn't remember, because this is probably not her? You said you rang the lights out bell at 10 o'clock that night. Ah. Oh. Well, it's only moments before you rang that bell. You were seen at the main hall by the most re reliable witness I have. Who's that? Me. Mr. Wright. See, isn't it weird that she doesn't know that? Right, chat? I don't think this is Iris. We even spoke a little that evening. That's when you gave me this. Hmm. Surely you haven't forgotten. Yup, yeah, the dot dot dot. Very suspicious. No. That's right, I remember. That brings us to another puzzling fact, Iris. 10 o'clock on the night of the murder. You were seen in two different places at the same time. It's time you told me exactly what's been going on, Iris. So far, I've managed to prove two things. First, on the night of the incident, you were at the inner temple. Second, at the same exact time, ringing the bell at Hazakura Temple. You seriously have to present the schedule for her entire night? I think so. There's only one possible explanation for this apparent impossibility. You're at House Aquarius Temple. We're at the Inner Temple. There were two of you. We'll see what there were two of you. On the night of the incident, we're seen in two different places at the same time. Which means, there must have been two of you. I can't think of any other explanation, Iris. But, but that's crazy. How could that be? There's only one of me. It's impossible. Impossible? I wonder. The way you're trembling certainly seems to suggest otherwise. Gulps. You're seriously trying to suggest there's more than one of me? Then show me the evidence. Tell me something that proves there's more than one of me. Take that. I have a firm grasp of the situation now, Iris. You have a, tw you have a sister, don't you? Twin sister, perhaps? Ah! That's right. Dahlia Hawthorne. Woman I know only too well. I had no idea you knew of her. Very impressive, Mr. Wright. But she's no longer... Yes, I know. Her sentence was carried out recently, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Thank you. No need to explain now, is there, Iris? The second you who was here at the temple on the night of the murder. It was your twin sister, Dahlia Hawthorne. But you just said to yourself a, mo a second ago, my sister's dead. Have you forgotten that? Have you forgotten this, Iris? This is a channeling dojo. A training ground of the Korean channeling technique. That night, 
Someone channeled Dahlia's spirit, and you knew about it. And that's the secret you've been trying to hide from me. Ugh. You're seriously having a spirit meeting if the channeling toad just tried to play this she's dead card? Yes. Yes, that did just happen. Let's talk about the night of the crime. I... I was in my room in the main hall that night. As soon as I heard I'd been spotted at the inner temple, I knew. I knew it was my sister. Oh, maybe they haven't swapped yet? Hmm. Dahlia, the other half of me who passed away last month. Just as I suspected. Iris that Sister Bikini saw at the Inner Temple the night of the murder. It was Dahlia Hawthorne. Why didn't you tell me this before? Because... Because my sister always does the right thing. <laughs> We're in wild arms, exactly. The, the me, myself, and I is happening right now. Excuse me? Because I mustn't get in the way of what she's trying to do. I already betrayed her once before. I can't do it again. Yeah, she's a poisoner. You betrayed her. What do you mean? That's why I... I have to accept I may be found guilty. It's the only way. What is she talking about? Trail. You know about it, don't you, Miss? Oh, you know about it, don't you, Mr. Wright? About the fake kidnapping that took place here on the Eagle Mountain 11 years ago? That was the start of it all. It's what started her down that twisted path. She started to commit crime after crime. In the end, she... she lost her life. It's all because... I betrayed her. How did you betray her, Iris? It's no coincidence that Eagle Mountain is where the exchange was to take place. After all, I... I helped plan the whole thing. What? I got scared, so I ran away. What are you talking about? How would you help her? Stealing two million dollars from your own father. That's awful. But I promised. Promised that I'd help. And she didn't do it for the money. Huh? It was revenge on our father. Revenge? Talk about revenge. What do you mean by revenge? He was a hideous man. He threw our mother away and sent her to hell. They like using that phrase. Mother? You must be talking about Morgan Fay. Her mother was the eldest daughter of the main branch of the Fay family. The main family had a lot of influence in many business and political circles at the time. As the eldest daughter, her mother was, this, was set to inherit all of that of the next master. That's the reason her father married her mother in the first place. For power. But his plan backfired, because our mother's sister took it all from her. She took over as the master of Karain. It would be Misty Fay, Maya's mother. But before long, the credibility of the Karain tradition hit rock bottom. The new master, Mystic Misty Fay, made a terrible mistake. It was during the investigation of the DL6 incident. After that happened, her father took me and my twin sister away, leaving our mother and home behind. He hated the place. He said it was a hick dive. He had no reason to stay there. <laughs> hick dive, damn. That's when you came here to Hazakura Temple. Yes. The woman my father took as his next wife already had a daughter, Valerie. I... I know place in his new family, you see. Oh. I haven't seen my mother once since then. The master seat stolen from her being rejected by her own family. I heard she's been very battered, spiritually and emotionally. I think I'm finally beginning to see how the pieces fit together. I have asked her everything I can in my capacity as a prosecutor. This incident, everything related to it goes back to the history of the fake clan. That's what it looks like. Iris. Just one more thing I want you to tell me. What is it? During the incident in which your sister, Dahlia Hawthorne, poisoned a lawyer. He began a relationship with a certain college student in order to hide the evidence. A college student. Have you heard anything about him? Well, I did hear one thing. 
She said she hated his guts. I see. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Hurry up, Phoenix Wright. There is still much to investigate. Leave these locks to me. I'll open them for you, I promise. Thank you. Suppose I better continue my investigation. There's still one giant secret left to unlock. Pearl Psych Lock. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I want to take a break or not after the investigation. Because it's going to be presumably a fairly long trial. I don't know if I want to start the trial and then pause it. Hmm. We, are, we did make a lot of progress, though, at least. So for now, let's go down here. February 9, Heavenly Hall. Look at that. You really did make a fire. Right in front of the shack. Oh! Mr. Nick! Ah, you're too late, Nick. He came here for one of our potatoes. I already polished them off. I think I've pretty much got all the evidence I need. Now I just need to find out what Pearls is hiding. Uh, let's present to her the Megatama. Take that! Take that. The night of the crime. After dinner on the night of the murder. We were supposed to be in Elise Stonim's room, reading a book together, correct? Yes! I was so happy when she invited me! But... I didn't go in the end. You didn't go? No. There's somewhere else I had to go instead. I was so worried, I... I had to go. I didn't know what to do with myself, I was so nervous! Girls never went to Miss Donum's room. She was too worried about something or someone else. Girls. On the night of the murder, you went to this place, didn't you? Inner Temple. Take that! Take that! You went here, didn't you, Pearls? Looks like she's still not going to open up to me. This is where you went because you were so worried, right? The next question is, who or what were you so worried about? Now, I'm going to take a guess. You tell me if I'm right or wrong, okay? Y you mean you know? If I'm right, will you tell me the whole truth? O okay. You went to this place for one very simple reason, and that is this. Well, I mean, we're going to present the burnt letter, of course. Oh, my, oops, sorry. I jumped ahead. Technically, technically yes, but I should have presented Maya there. My bad. I'm going to get a penalty on that. Well, Pearls, this is what you were worried about, right? There's something I'm worrying about right now, actually. What's that? You, Mr. Mick. Face has turned a really strange color. Huh? You shouldn't work so hard, you know. You need to take a break once in a while. Being chided by a nine-year-old, how embarrassing. Alright, my bad. I'll, I'll skip through the dialogue. I just want to go back to the choice again. Oh, why do I have to do this again? Why are you making me point out the temple? Oh, that's annoying. So if I if I miss select there, I have to do that whole segment again. Come on. Alright, well, we're gonna present Maya then. Then we're gonna present the bird letter. Take that. Take that. It's obvious what you're so worried about, Pearls. It was Maya, wasn't it? Ah. Uh. You knew the training Maya was undertaking was dangerous. After all, it was the special course. Signed up for your special course. Well, my, my, my. Play brave of you considering how cold it is. Young people can be so reckless with their hell. Don't blame me if you become one with those you channel. <laughs> Sister Bikini scared you with what she said, didn't she? Because it was you who introduced Hasekura Temple to Maya in the first place. You felt responsible, didn't you? Thinking about what could happen to Mystic Maya made me more and more worried. I couldn't sit still at all. That's why I decided to go and find out how she was doing at the Inner Temple. And we're clear now that you went to the Inner Temple that night, Pearls. What's not clear is what happened after that. Uh, about what time was it when you headed over to the Inner Temple? Um, probably around 9.30 when I left the main hall. I heard the real training was supposed to start at 10. I wanted to get there before it started. There was so much snow, 
I didn't get there until after 10 o'clock. Until after 10? How did you know what time it was? Yep, because the bell went off. Because I heard the bell ringing for lights out. Or the lights out bell? How's it where a tempo bell is pretty small though, isn't it? You must have, been really, you must have really good hearing. I... Really trying to pick up the sound of the bell, that's all. I don't want to miss it. That would be terrible. Just trying to hear the bell? Tell me, Pearls. Why were you so worried about hearing that bell? Huh? Oh, I... I think I know why. The reason you were so worried about that bell was because of this. Okay, now we're gonna present the letter. Now we should be fine. Take that. Take that! You were given some instructions to follow for that night, weren't you? I presume you recognize these pieces of paper? Ah! Uh, where did you... In the incinerator at the inner temple. Pearls. You were following the instructions of this letter that night, weren't you? That's why you couldn't afford to miss the sound of the lights out bell. I... I'm speechless, Mr. Nick. You're amazing. These instructions that were found in the incinerator. I believe they were written for you, Pearls. For me? I... No! As you can see, a large portion has been burnt. The last section is still fairly legible. As soon as you hear the lights out bell, you must channel her spirit. Who was it, Pearls? Whose spirit were you supposed to be channeling? The... Uh, taking into account the author of the note. The purpose for writing it. Whose spirit would Pearls have been trying to channel? Oh, come on, Phoenix. Don't overthink it, Phoenix. It's pretty obvious who Pearls was supposed to channel. Yes. The person you were trying to channel that night, Pearls, was... It was you, Pearl. You were trying to channel yourself. Checkmate. <laughs> right, chat? Anyway, let's present the only dead person on the entire list. Oh, wait, there's one more. Mia. It'd be funny if she was channeling Mia, though. But anyway, let's do a Dahlia. Take that! The person was my badge, exactly. It was Dahlia Hawthorne, wasn't it? That was the name that was in the letter. Ah! Just as I suspected. It was an Iris whose sister Bikini met at the Inner Temple that night. It was Dahlia Hawthorne. You know anything about her, Pearls? You know what kind of woman Dahlia Hawthorne was? Um, no. Never heard of anyone by that name before reading those instructions. Thought so. Pearls doesn't have a clue. He doesn't know that Dolly is her sister. Got the instructions in the letter I found, Pearls. Who wrote them? Um... I mean, it's gonna have to be her mother now that they involved her. Whoever, I thought originally it was the sister sending it to the sister. But since they introduced Morgan Fay as, like, the mastermind for it, I guess that would make sense, too. Because I was thinking, you know, she knew she was gonna die. I was thinking it was suicide at first. Or, or in the event that she did get executed, she would have known. So she could have plotted that in advance, in theory. But, sure, we'll add Morgan Fay to the list. Whoever it was asked you to channel the spirit of someone you'd heard of, or never heard of. Oh, I guess that makes sense because if she was asked to channel, it would have to be someone that she trusted, which would be her mother. So, I guess that makes sense. Must have quite a lot of respect for them. After all, follow their instructions without question. Here's my next question. Who wrote this set of instructions for you to follow? Oh, there's Mushroom Head. Take that! Pearls. I have to wonder about something. You didn't have any idea what these instructions meant, did you? Yep, that's why she was asking questions to Miss Donim at one point what the words meant. Her heart thumps. But you followed them to the letter regardless. Why? Because it was your own mother who asked you, that's why. How did you... I figured it out. The person who wrote this letter was your own mother, Morgan Fay. Uh... Wah! Right, Pearls. Time you started telling me the truth. And Mr. Nick, I, I... Why is she holding back from me? I don't like this. Don't underestimate me just because I'm a child. Huh? You're trying to say I follow these instructions. I'd like to see some proof. <laughs> she threw gravy at the scroll. What? Because I... I don't think you have any. Uh... You say anything rather than admit to carrying out those instructions. I guess I'll have to produce some more evidence then. One more thing should do it. All right, Pearls. You both know someone carried out these instructions in the night of the murder. But you're right. No evidence that proves it was you. I knew it! However, 
I do know that whoever did it was a child. Huh? How do you know that? It couldn't have been an adult. No adult would make a simple mistake like that. A, a simple mistake? What do you mean by that? I'm sure you thought you were carefully following the instructions you've been given. But you misunderstood some of those words. And this is the evidence that proves it. Okay, so we're going to show the hanging scroll with allegedly gravy on it. Take that! It was you who splattered gravy on this hanging scroll, wasn't it? Phoenix, not an adult confirmed, exactly. Ah! What? Why would I do something like that? You remember what was written in that letter. Bravely roast the master and the fires of Hades. Bring our vengeance to fruition. You didn't know how to read the words gravely and roast, among others, right? How did you know that? Remember the conversation you had with Miss Donim the night of the murder? I remember that. Perhaps we could read some books together. Really? I'd love to. I am um, not very good at reading. <laughs> well then, would you like to practice reading with me? Um, Miss Elise, for example, how do you read this? It says, bravely. That's kind of a tough word. Hmm? Sure. Sonim taught you how to read gravely and roast. But what she didn't teach you is what they meant. Bravely sounded like gravy to me. The only roast I could think of was the food. And that's why you did it. That's why you covered the picture of Master and Gravy on the night's pot roast. To be honest, I did think it was a bit strange. I guess I really did get the wrong idea. Just a tiny bit. I really am useless. I didn't even burn the letter properly as my mother had asked of me. Damn. Such a simple thing. I couldn't even do it right. There we go, chat. Let's send the child to jail for a uh, conspiracy and other things. Jail the kid. Jail the kid. Anyway, let's do Night of the Crime. I after dinner that night. I did go to the Inner Temple. A pot full of the leftover gravy. Gravy? I saw the picture on the hanging scroll near the sacred cavern. I was sure it was the Master of Crane. Like it said in the letter. I see. And then? Well... It's already way past 10 when I got there because of all the snow. Giddy jail, jail care, exactly. So I went to the inner temple guest area. The guest area? Yes. Thought I could wait there until the training was over. Why didn't you just go to the training hall? This Mystic Maya's main training had already started. And I couldn't interrupt it. I just stayed where I was and prayed for her to get through it. Then I. Girls, did you fall asleep? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I just couldn't help it. Hey, don't worry about it, Pearl. Who cares if you fell asleep? I fell asleep waiting for Iris, too. It happens. Anyway, uh, uh, then you found yourself trapped at the Inner Temple. Yes. When I woke up, it was morning. Try not to cry, but Husky Bridge wasn't there anymore. There's no one in the training hall. Not everyone had left me because I overslept. I threw the letter into the incinerator. I heated up the leftover gravy and... Let off some steam by checking the gravy on the scroll while you cried. Must be pretty scary for you, Pearl. I know what it's like. Nick used to leave me behind when I fell asleep at school, too. I don't equate something so trivial with her experience, Larry. Let's ask about lost powers. It's written right in my mother's letter. It said as soon as you hear the lights out, Belle, you must channel her spirit. I my way over to the inner temple when I heard the bell ring. You channeled Dahlia Hawthorne's spirit. No. I tried, but I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Never failed to channeling someone. It's the first time it's happened. I tried, and I tried, and I tried. Yesterday, this morning. Whole time. Yup, there we go. So now we know that officially Maya should be channeling the other person. That still checks out, chat. I just couldn't do it. Don't let it get you down, Pearl. It'll all work out. If you want, I'll come flying through the sky for you. Whoosh, just like that. But she never managed to channel the spirit. How about you think your spiritual powers are gone? Yes, I don't know what to do. Isn't there any other explanation for why you couldn't channel a spirit? I suppose there's one other possibility. Not very likely, though. Could you please tell me what it is anyway? 
What would happen if someone else was already channeling the same spirit? Someone else? What do you mean? Well, there's only one of each spirit, right? Yup, like, it's like dating a girl, Nick. You can see a hot chick if she's... You can't see a hot chick if she's already taken. Wow. And that would mean on the night of the murder. Someone else channeled her spirit before Pearls could. Someone else channeled the spirit of Dahlia Hawthorne. I'm a failure. I can't even grant my mother's final wish. Her final wish? Yes, this letter. This is my last wish, she said. Did it? I don't even remember that in there. I don't even s I don't even see remotely where that would have been in here. Whatever. Make sure you follow the instructions carefully. Was that in there? I don't think so, chat. I think you're being a little loose with the translation on that one. Hmm. This letter. Definitely need to find out more about it. Ask about the letter. My mother's gone to a place called Penitentiary. Yeah, I know, Pearls. I visit her every month. And last month... Wait, she visits by herself? Wait, who's she go with? And last month she told me... The time we've been waiting for has come, Pearl. There's something I need you to do for me. I had a letter for you at our, o our home, where they brought me here. I want you to read it, and do exactly what it says. And no, Pearl, don't question why they let me have this mug or the same outfit I went to jail with. It's for the good of the Fae Clan, my angel. You'll be doing a great thing. Now listen carefully, and I'll tell you where the letter's hidden. So this kind of added a kind of more convoluted step to the story, but whatever. My mother's always nice to me. Love her very much. Yeah, moms will do anything for their kids, right? She said it was for the good of the Fae Clan, so I knew I had to help her. Actually dumb. I mean, Mystic Maya's part of the Fae Clan, so it had to be good for her, too. Uh... Didn't she witness the trial? <laughs> That's right, isn't it, Mr. Nick? I guess so, yeah. What do you mean, I guess so? You liar. There's a picture with her letter, too. Picture? Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Usually a picture is enough to channel someone's spirit, but this time... Pretty weird, huh? Like Larry knows anything about this stuff. There's something else that was strange about my mother's letter. The seal on it was broken, as if someone had already opened it once before. That sure is pretty strange. Someone had opened it already? Current letter updated in the court record. That's how the mother knew about it. To, uh, Maya, I mean, specifically. Friend letter update in the court record. Orders from Morgan Fay open once before. Thanks, Pearls. You really helped me out. You're very welcome. Mother is watching over us. I'm sure Mystic Maya will be alright. Why she say watching over us? It feels like she died. With that innocent smile on her face. <laughs> They're like, let's destroy that smile forever. What am I supposed to say to her? Huh. Finally figured it out, have you, Trite? You finally realized how terrible of a crime being painfully oblivious is. I don't think he figured that out yet, Godot. I think that's a big assumption. Godot? The entrance to the sacred cavern. Looks like a freaking puzzle workshop. I guess he's talking about Iris and the lock-breaking effort. But it's all a waste of time. Why do you say that? Because Maya Faye isn't coming back. What? You don't know what you're talking about. How do you say something like that? It was your job to protect her, Trite. It's like it was your job to protect Mia Faye. Two sisters, caught up in the worst circumstances. I... I realize that, but... And you were the only one who was by their sides. You were the only one who could have saved them. But I didn't know anything about what was going on. Ugh, what did I just say, Trite? Being oblivious is a heinous crime in it itself. Tomorrow. We'll settle everything in court tomorrow. Once and for all.
Mr. Nick, is... is what that man just said true? You'll be all right, Pearls. Jeremiah's alive. You'll see for yourself tomorrow. I... yeah, that's right. I know I could trust you, Mr. Nick. My dear Pearl, you've done so well, my child, my Pearl. It's better that you don't know what you've done. I knew this day would come for you. The blood of the main family is no more. Now finally, after all this time, the master seat is yours. My last great wish. It seems I was just in time. Dun dun dun, to be continued. Okay, so let's save. So, I know there's a lot of parts to this trial compared to normal ones, so let's definitely pause here since it's, like, not too, too far from midnight. Let's have a little chat. So how do we feel about this investigation phase so far? I mean, there was a lot of background that they had to introduce, to be fair, to new players that might not have played each of the prior games. Um, We'll see if the, the whole idea that they did a swap makes sense. Because if you think about it from this standpoint, if Dahlia's spirit is strong enough, she might overwhelm the other person. So maybe that very ominous message at the end is not the fact that Maya is dead, but the fact that Maya can't unchannel the spirit, if that makes sense. So we'll see where it goes with that, I guess, next time. But I think for now, chat, uh, it's not the worst case in the Phoenix Wright. I think it's fine. I think they added a little bit of things that make it a bit more convoluted than it should be. And they probably could have trimmed stuff down to not reference the other games if they really wanted to. So I have a bit mixed feelings on like whether it was super necessary to bring back the mother. And it's just like the, oh, I just happened to leave the letter before I was captured and all this other stuff. And it just, I don't know. I think it would have made more sense if it was just like constant correspondence between uh, the sisters versus specifically the mother giving it to Pearl and all that happening. And then Maya Faye's mother also just happened to know where it is and found all that stuff versus like Pearl's bringing the letter and the mother finding out that way, I think would have made a bit more sense and eliminated steps that were not really needed. So yeah, it would have reduced coincidences down quite a bit. Because she would have potentially seen the letter having been asked the words and probably could have been like, well, I was at having food, like, you know, she took a look at it and saw the, the words or something and saw the photo. Or maybe she dropped the photo, she could have said that and that would have sparked curiosity from the, uh, um, Maya Faye's mother kind of thing. There, there's ways they could have introduced it a lot more naturally. It feels a little clunky. But it's not, like, a deal-breaker so far with the case. I'm still mostly following what's happening. So we'll we'll see, you know, what they decide to do with it. So we know at some point we're going to have to come to the conclusion that the anchoring wire that they drew specific attention to when we looked at the post near the bridge was probably used to swing the body across the gap. I don't know if the, the body was there or if it was just the clothes. But we know at some point on the far side of the bridge... Um, we know that she landed with a thud, because that would have dislodged the sphere. So we know at minimum that's how the, the staff was passed through, and why the amethyst was left near that bridge. So, like, that part of it is not really a mystery to me, quote-unquote. It's just more of a, you know, did, did they actually swing a person to it, which is pretty ridiculous. And then, that kind of opens up questions, because if it was a person, how did he not see the body when it went past the bridge were the other people i don't know i feel like they're opening themselves up to some issues with the 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 witnesses later on but i guess we'll see in the trial next time but for now chat let's take a break here because uh as i said before we're probably gonna go in a very long explanation about all the revenge you know at some point we're gonna have to deal with dahlia's spirit we're gonna have to do all these other crazy things you know there's gonna be a lot of things other than specifically going through the trial itself, that will make it 
pretty long. So I think from that standpoint, we'll take a break. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. Uh, if you didn't watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. And hopefully see you in the last part before final thoughts.